Hello everybody and welcome to Encounter Roleplay. My name is Will. I'm a D&D sex icon, soon to become a RuneQuest sex icon as well. And I'm here today <laughs> with the full cast and crew of the RuneQuest Twitch premiere. Uh, we have a great cast with us tonight and we're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, so let's first of all figure out who we are and who we're going to be playing tonight. And let's start up there with the magnificent bastard that is Jim Davis. Jim, how you doing? Thank, thank you very much, Will. I'm excited to be here tonight. First time playing RuneQuest and my first time getting to play in Glorantha. So I'm super psyched about that and uh, excited to be playing with you guys tonight. It's a Monday. I don't usually game on Mondays, so this is a real treat for me. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and tell us a, a little bit about Sorala. Oh, yes, Sorala. Uh, I, tonight I'm going to be playing a sort of uh, priestess uh, of knowledge slash uh, tomb raider. Uh, she is uh, an outsider amongst the group who uses her rune magic and sorcery to sort of understand the history of the places where she delves and, and uh, you know, increase her might uh, as it were, through uh, acquisition of knowledge. And she's here to help the uh, the Kolimar clan uh, gain the support of uh, one of the warlords in the region. So she's all about that. Great stuff. Great stuff. We also have Blue Jay with us tonight. Blue Jay, how you doing? Hi, I'm good. Um, I also don't usually play games on Mondays, so I'm excited to uh do that with y'all and i have never played runequest so that's a new another new thing i'm a noob um but uh i play role-playing games a lot i play in three games a week um and uh you can find all those hosted on my channel and my character is yanioth she is a um initiate or priestess of arnalda who is the earth goddess um she's very much about like healing and um, magic and not so much about like fighting things um, also um, a lot of, a lot about um, what, 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 let me find it sorry um, it's okay we're all new uh, huh it says okay we're oh, sorry. all new <laughs> yeah yeah it's true it's true we're all new but um, yeah so she's the she's the half sister of Vasana um, and she's been traveling with her for a while, so. Great stuff, awesome. Uh, well, we also have with us Mr. Jonathan Pruitt. How are you doing, Pruitt? I'm doing great, sir. I am doing excellent. I am ready to kick this thing off. Uh, I've never played RuneQuest, so I'm excited to get into it, but I've been gold blooming for a few days now, and I am ready to uh, kick things off with Vasana here, daughter of Farnon. She has a, an axe to grind with those damn lunars, those those moon curs as they are. And so uh, she's ready to get back into adventuring and uh, has her half sister there, got a cousin over there. Uh, and then this uh, this knowledgeable person, uh, whoever this is, can't wait to uh, get to it. Our interests Based align, on. our interests align. <laughs> uh, and Will, how ooh. about you? Who are you playing here? Yeah. I, myself, John from Pruitt, will be playing Harmast. Uh, I am a noble, a uh, man of 21 years of age, and I've got two zebras. And uh, that, those are the key points uh, about Harmast, uh, for me at the very least. But he is an initiate of Isaris, um and a wealthy farmer uh, of the Kolima tribe, uh, son of Baranthos. And... Uh, he could be a bit of a silver-tongued diplomat when it comes to, but he was also a little bit arrogant at times as well, which can get him into a bit of trouble. Uh, so uh, that's going to be fun playing that tonight as Harmast. Uh, before I hand over to Jeff, before I um, uh, let us get into this adventure, I remind you guys uh, that today we'll be giving away five copies of the uh, RuneQuest Core PDF. That will be done at the end of the show, so stick around for that, and you'll be in a chance to win uh one of the copies of this beautiful game that we're playing today. Uh, and of course, if you go exclamation point RuneQuest, there's an ongoing giveaway for a hardback copy of uh, RuneQuest and a PDF to go alongside it as well, which also ships internationally. So uh, no matter where you're from, 
you can go find it. Um, all the other things were sponsored by Fantasy Grounds and Wayland Games here on Encounter Roleplay. Uh, you can check out the links to our sponsors down below, our virtual tabletop of choice, and our miniature sponsor. Uh, and of course, a big thank you and shout out goes to Chaosium Inc. for helping us host this event. And uh, we're very excited to get into this world. So without any further ado, oh, one last thing for those who are familiar with the channel. Uh, no donations, no uh, view decisions today. We just want to show off request in all its pure and simple glory uh so keep that in mind today but nonetheless there is a tweet if you want to go retweet it other than that though i don't know if uh, i would say simple maybe pure maybe not simple definitely pure there's definitely a pure <laughs> strain of RuneQuest about to happen today uh well we'll see about that uh but jeff uh huh. oh there we go it's over yep Stream done. <laughs> Jeff, talk to us about RuneQuest. My internet's being a bit of a dick. Yeah, I'm Jeff Richard. I'm the creative director of Chaosium Inc. and uh, the lead writer on the newest edition of RuneQuest. RuneQuest is one of the big old uh, granddaddies of the RPG industry. It's been out since, I think it's been around since 1976 uh, in one form or another. Uh, it came out just uh, soon after the original D&D did, actually before Predate's first edition. And it is the, um, it is the uh, DNA for games like Call of Cthulhu and Pendragon. Uh, if you've ever played Morrowind, you've managed to more or less play uh, uh, the computer game version of RuneQuest. Uh, so it's, it's, it's sort of the uh, sire of that entire other world of rpgs uh in an alternate universe where D, &D isn't the the main game uh and we are bringing it back it's been out um there hasn't been a chaosium edition of runequest in a quarter of a century and we've got the new edition coming out very very soon so Great rules stuff. wise it's a uh, d100 skill system so uh, these characters have a variety of skills of things that they can do, uh, things that, that come as part of their background or the culture, occupation or whatnot. Uh, the skills are represented as their percentile chance of success, and they will just roll. Unlike D&D, you want to roll low. So uh, if you roll uh, a 0-1, that's very, very good in this system. And if you roll a 0-0 or 100, that's very bad and a fumble. And the other thing for all you players to keep in mind, RuneQuest combat is unbalanced and very deadly, uh, like Call of Cthulhu combat. So if you're going to get into a fight, be very careful about it and uh, cheat as much as you can. Ambush, backstab, all of that uh, adds to your uh, likelihood of survival. And um, uh, just keep in mind, there's no such thing as a mook anything that you try to fight can be very deadly. So with that, are you guys ready? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, so uh, your group of characters are returning back after years of adventuring, fighting in battles uh, and travels and returning to your homeland uh, in the Kolimar tribe. Uh, I think we've got a map somewhere that I put up, which is the map of the Kolimar tribe, just to give kind of a, a, a geographical orientation. I don't know if that's something that we can put up or not. I can get you that. Excellent. There we go. So this is, that imagine it's a, it's a, this is a, a hilly area populated by lots of, of small communities, uh, little clans and everything is built around a uh, a, a central hill fort um, and that's a clear wine I don't know is it showing up or am just, I just just loading at the moment and yeah okay no worries time of the year is it is late winter there's likely uh several inches of snow on the snow on the ground and um, you all are crossing over the hills to the valley from uh, which most of you guys grew up, lived your life, and left 
uh, years ago to fight in wars. And I would like you guys to start off by just making, trying to make a listen roll. Oh boy. Okay. So. There we go. Listen. Listen here. Let's roll a D100 and find that. Okay, I just got a success. Uh, my listen's at 40. I rolled a 38. Oh, awesome. I failed. <laughs> From a top Tatanka, my bison. Sure. Very good, Vasana. Hey, yeah, my listen is at 30. Nice. I don't know I what it. my listen is. Oh, okay, it will be on your character sheet under a perception skill. Yes, I got a 35. I rolled a 20. Oh, awesome. So you like guys, actually, as you all are, are, are traveling along the path through the snow. Uh, and, and, Will, can I get you to move this map down a little bit? Yes. A little bit further down? Yeah. If you can scroll it down. All the way down south. Um, yeah. And perfect. Ooh. Right about here. That's perfect. All right. Okay, so if you can see, if you guys can see there on this, you guys are about to enter into this big valley here, and you're going over the crest of the hills, and to the to the left there's a forest, and to the right there's these these big clefts, and you all hear a terrible roar, huge, loud. Um, horrific sounding roar of, of some sort of huge animal coming down from within the valley. Mm. Do we recognize what kind of animal it is? Uh, Sarala, would you um, just make some sort of, uh, let's try and make an int times five roll. Just to check on your hand. Five. All it right. should be very easy for you. You guys are all pretty smart. 44 for me, my int, which I multiply by five. Multiply by five. So, nice. yeah, that, that gives it a hundred. That makes it it's a hundred. A, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you can always screw up. This is RuneQuest. It's, it's BRP uh, 9600 is always a fail. Okay. It's always a fail. Okay. So I got less than, I guess, uh, I got a 44 out of 100. Okay. I'm That's not going to make all success. of you guys roll for it. I'm just trying to get everybody used to rolling percentile dice instead of D100s, or sorry, D20. Um, yeah, you hear, you, you, you've got a pretty good idea that this is some sort of, um, uh, it, it's some sort of huge reptile. Um, it might be something as innocuous as a dinosaur. Which they have in the uh, they they have out here. Uh, if it's really bad, it might be something like a dream dragon or a worm. This is an area called Dragon's Pass. Dragons uh, are often found around here. It it could be that, and if it, it could be is that, that would dragon. be something very bad. Yeah, I I will alert the group. Um, noise like that could possibly be a dream dragon. We should be careful. Uh, the dragon rice cursed this land. Dream dragon? Hmm. Indeed. Well, I'm not falling asleep. Of, it's a manifestation of one of the true dragons. Be careful, they're quite powerful. Mm. And uh, 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 Sorala is just going to any... loosen her sword, just to be careful. So we know that it's possible that these creatures live in this area. Do we hear any sounds of, like... Uh, like a person or combat or was it just like basically defending its territory i have like a um i just i want to i want to know if that was like if there's any other like human noises if we should go in or just avoid it you know what the the main noise you heard the overpowering noise yes was uh this animal's roar and while you mm -hmm. are trying to think of you know uh in in um uh think about this and explain what these are uh yeah. i'm not going to make you guys roll because uh on a scan because i definitely guys made a a listen roll 
you can see rising from the valley, there is a big ser a purple serpent with wings, maybe about 15 meters long, um, circling uh, from the valley and rising into the air. Uh, Will, you've got a picture uh, that's entitled Dream Dragon. Ooh. Oh no. Uh -oh. You know, why start it why, why start it slow, right? <laughs> right. I love it. I, I love it. Oh, dream dragon. We're gonna showcase <laughs> RuneQuest tonight by TPKing the entire party. <laughs> TPK <laughs> That's great. I'm excited. Let's see if we can squeeze this thing down. There we go. There we go. Oh my. <laughs> okay, great. By Orlaf. Awesome. All right, it is huge. 15 meters long. Um, and it's just going up out of the valley above you all. And I want to know what your characters are doing. What's your reaction to seeing this? This. Uh, oh, <laughs> you're does it hide? look as if it has <laughs> noticed us? It does not Vasana's appear to be paying any attention. Do not it is move. just, it's just circling up. It's maybe. And you guys forgive me if I use the metric system. I'm I'm out here it's in fine. Europe. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. several hundred meters away. As it yes. rises out, but you can see. I mean, you can see this big purple serpent rise into the sky, and it goes up, up, up above you all. You're trying to hide, yeah. Sorella. Oh, Anyone well, else doing anything? If Vasana gave an order, then Sarala is going to listen to Vasana. Yeah, I yes, like my head scans up towards the creature, and Yanioth's jaw is just like she. It, it's a it's a magnificent beast. So she's more like in awe than she is reacting to it as like a predator at the moment. Well, you, and, uh, yeah. and if I recall, Yanioth, you're very powerful in the beast realm. Yes, I am. So that, absolutely, happen. you. This is this is an amazing. This is an amazing creature. Yeah. Just awe. I, mm -hmm. I I I'm gonna stand sort of next as well, just staring up. My my, imagine if one could tame such a creature. Oh. I would not wish to tame such a beautiful beast. It should be free. It's at least five. But perhaps we do not wish it to be free too close to where we live. How close is this to like any settlements? Uh, is it... where it, th that's a very good question, Yanyath, because where it was rising from in the, the north end of this valley, there are some uh, farmsteads just from the area that it was rising from. Of course yeah. there are. And is this and it, by the way, it? if we can go back to that map really quickly, it um, catches up into the air and begins flying to the east until it is out of sight. Flying. So if you guys can see where you are uh, on this map, there's something that says Tardizi's Grove. There's a little mm -hmm. um, red spot. That's a village. You guys are basically right to the west of Tardizi's Grove. And the dragon flies over the grove. This is a, a, a big, heavily wooded area. And after a few minutes, you can't see it anymore. But where okay. it was yeah. coming from is an area that there were a bunch of little farmsteads. We should check. I on fear them. that the dragon came from the nearby farms, and perhaps those people have been harmed. We should go help them if they still live. We will learn something there, yes. We got an order from. It sounds like we have a, a direction for everybody. You guys are gonna yeah. head down into the valley. Go. Yes, from the valley. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With all due it. speed. Okay, well, um, a short run towards the valley brings you all to the first of the, or the nearest of the, the steads. And the stead is basically, that's just a, 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 a small farm. I, I, I'm getting a very amusing picture right now of, of Oh, will the DM? That's for nothing. <laughs> yeah. Just gonna have to get used to um, that. Do you have a um, 
This is a small collection of farmhouses and other buildings. There's fields and uh, vineyards that would uh, surround the buildings this time of year. You know, everything is under snow. Uh, and the those of you who are from this area, um, you know, like would know that this is Genstall's stead. He's a he's a farmer farms here with his family. He's related to he's likely related to Harmas by marriage because everybody is related to Harmas by marriage. But, you know, these are small communities here. Everybody knows everybody. And um, his stead consists of a, a farmhouse, some barns, and a big animal corral. And it looks like the first thing that you guys can see would be the animal, cor uh, the animal corral, which is just a, you know, low stone walls surround, uh, surround it. And within it, there are uh about a score of dead cattle mm -hmm. uh, there's no people there's no people running around here oh dear, oh dear. okay we should check surely the farmstead they, indeed surely if they survived they would come to check their cattle perhaps they they're still, still hiding in fear. fear right smart right so is everybody rushing to the the farmhouse the humans yeah. are more important. <laughs> yeah. Um, the you go in and the farmhouse, uh, the the far, farmhouse is a stone building with a um, uh, clay roof. You know, so like clay tiles and such. A bunch of the tiles have been broken, uh, and if you know, this is this is not a a rich farm. The farmhouse itself. You know, probably consists of two rooms and in the room that you guys the the first room that you guys go into you can see there are um let's see you can see five people huddling uh in terror they're not paying much attention oh. to you two are there's a, a teenage girl um tr uh, trying to hold on to her mother um who's down on the ground there is another man who looks like he's, uh, well, who's obviously been badly wounded. And then there is uh, a, a, a younger kid, maybe about 12, boy, about 12 years old, that is just looking white and terrified. And there is an adult woman, probably a servant, uh, who is just uh, huddling with the rest of them. They are terrified. And there is the teenage girl notices you all and starts um, uh, uh, not quite screaming is probably the uh, probably putting it too strongly, but is plaintiff plaintively asks, "Can't you help my mother? Can't you help my mother? She's dying." Said so she. I... Yes. Um, yeah, and I think that I would uh, probably like motion for the rest of the group because this is a small house like don't it's a small crowd house. them um so i would like motion for them to stay back and i would very slowly approach forward and say calm down child i am here the uh the earth goddess arnalda has sent us and i will help your mother in any way i can but you must remain calm your she she just starts crying to you that that that, that there was a dragon a, a a dragon it 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 um it, it came and and mother yes, and yes, uncle got us in here. Where's my saw father? The dragon. It has it has left. I we haven't found your father. And I like look over to the rest of the group yeah. and like we will search. There's another person. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you, Danielle. And Search um, pattern beta. Yeah, <laughs> and I immediately probably like kneel down to check on who did you say was injured? Who appeared injured? There's a mother. Um. So there's. There's the mother, there's the uncle, and then there's, mm -hmm. uh, and both of them seem pretty badly wounded. Um, I think I would go um, towards the mother first because she was calling her out specifically. Um, and can I like survey the, the damage done and try and heal her? Yeah, absolutely. That is kind of your, um, yeah, that's my your specialty. Stuff. That's what I do. <laughs> 
Yeah. She is in terrible shape. She is down to two hit points, which in Rune Quest is a very bad thing. That's the point where uh, you are generally getting very close to unconsciousness or death. Zero hit points mm -hmm. and you die in Rune Quest. She's in right. horrible shape. It doesn't Oops. look like she was torn um, torn up or bit or, or has blood over the place but just looks uh you know her 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 skin looks a little bit bluish and damaged um uh, like she's been poisoned oh um is this like a kind of wounds i would be familiar with treating or should i like is there something that i should Magic can just heal, right? I don't have to know. Yes. So you have okay. two it, to to to, um, to make things easy for you. You have basically yeah. three ways that you can try to heal something. You can okay. heal using your first aid skill, which uh -huh. you can always do. But that doesn't heal. A, like, uh, that generally yeah. doesn't heal a lot. That's medicine. Uh, and then you've got a spirit magic spell that will heal up to three hit points. Which right. would be enough. That would that would be enough to certainly save her life. Or you okay. have the big rune magic, um, I think which I'm can heal save... an awful lot. What? I think I'm gonna not use the big rune magic because who knows what else is going on around here. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna use they the spirit peasants. magic to heal. Her. Okay. Let her die. <laughs> and and the way this works is when you use spirit yeah. magic. Uh, for every point that you're going to try to heal her up to three, just knock off mm. a magic point. You have okay. a lot of magic points. I do. I think I have 25? Yes. Right. So I will keep track of that. All right. How I'll, about the I'll rest of you guys? What are you all doing? Three hit points. Um, so I'm going to search, search the farm. And can I get, uh, can I augment uh, my search role since I grew up on a farm? I have a 30% farm, so I can try to boost my search since I know farm layouts pretty well. Absolutely. Absolutely. So why don't you, um, how about you, Sarala? What are you going to do? I, I, I want to get a kind of an idea of what you, the rest of you all were doing. Is there one of the the people the inhabitants of the farm that's kind of off by themselves or maybe not uh clustered around where Yanioff is uh helping the mother? Doing the same thing. Like someone we can talk mean, to who maybe has their wits about them. There is um there's a te there's a 12-year-old boy and um there's a an adult woman who a uh, is probably, well, not probably, it, she's clearly um, one of the servants in uh, in the household, farm, uh, farm laborer. Uh, and, and keep in mind, this is a very ancient world. So there right. are, you know, people that have Survive stuff. Plans. And it, yes. So I, I think uh, Sarala would approach uh, the servant woman first, um, you know, the, it seemed like the boy was maybe a little shaken up, um, and uh, approach her and simply uh, start with, "Did do you know if anyone saw anything? What happened?" Okay, um, and then uh, let me handle Sarala. Then I'll go to Vasana, and then I'll go back to you. We're splitting the party uh, in the first few minutes. Oh yeah, uh, Sarala, the 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 servant. Let me just look up her name here, uh, Anna. Uh, sir, she Anna says that uh, there was there was a a, a, a dragon, a, a monster, a, Indeed. A, a, a you know a, one of the you know one of the great beasts uh, came and uh, it flew down on the stead and uh, Arndala, the mother told us all to go to the stead while. While Genstel tried to fight it off, Genstel, the the, the uh, owner of the farm, the guy who owns the farm, mm -hmm. and what uh, did the dragon attack? Was it uh, aggressive or merely present? It it leap it came down and um, uh, we ran into the farmhouse the moment that anybody saw it. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, now, using uh, Sorala's lore, does does she know if that's odd behavior for a, a dream dragon, or uh, do I need to roll for that? Yeah, I'm not even going to make you have to roll for it. Dream oh, no. dragons, dream dream dragons are sentient things, right? Um, they tend to have really strong drives. They're 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 you know, or at least. You being a, a follower of the the the, the knowing God, mm-hmm. uh, you know that they are the manifestations, of the dreams of the, the subconscious of these dragons, and they tend to have tend to have very strong drives. So okay. ha- a dragon attacking people um, is not out of character. I mean. I guess the feel I'm trying, it, and it, the, the second question I had was: Is does its color have any significance to Sarala? Like the fact that it was purple. Yeah, okay, so um, that I'm going to ask you to make some sort of a lower roll on. All right, and then I'm going to jump see. to the next character. Gotcha. Uh, Thirty-nine, and let me pull up my character sheet real quick. Lore. I've got all kinds of lore. It seems cult lore. Empire of Worm Friends, Arm Troll. Um, I'm not seeing any specific draconic or like anything. Cult lore. Troll lore, cult lore. Okay. Uh, in that case, um, it's like maybe thirty percent. So no, that was a fail. Yeah, you don't. You don't know. You don't. Okay. It might. It might have it some might. importance. It, it might. might not. Okay. Then she'll just keep sort of. Uh, questioning the servant girl or servant woman as long as uh, she continues to be coherent um let me jump over to to vasana no problem uh, that's okay. yes vasana began uh searching the farm uh and this farm is completely different than anything she's ever seen so <laughs> i failed both roles in, in my search <laughs> for the farm well but the greater is supposed to go on this here. farm uh, <laughs> There are an awful lot of of corpses of partially eaten um, cattle, mm-hmm. and there are the mangled corpses of two um, people over in the animal corral. I'm gonna go check I, those out. Uh, yeah, I mean, you're, there's there's a lot of the, what when the dragon came down here, it just tore apart the animals and um, uh, mangled the people. Mm. It is a horrible uh, way to Quick die. question that, that I got from a couple of you guys. On the character sheets, you have what's called a... There's a bonus for each of your um, types of skills. Mm-hmm. That has already been factored into your skill totals. So that's useful. Um when we try to learn from experience or you try to have a new skill, but you don't need to factor that in. So don't worry about it. So anyways, Visana, there are, there's all sorts of mangled animals, the corpses, uh, the corpses of two humans, two men. Yeah. She's going to go and, uh, and check the mangled corpses. See if any of them match what would be the, uh, head of the farmstead. If she knows them. Um, uh, I would join Vasana, uh, okay. because I am family. So maybe we have uh, like a, a shared like uh, kin symbol or something like that. Uh, mm-hmm. Your people tattoo the heck out of themselves. So not only would you have you would yeah. have a tattoo signifying what clan you belong to, probably a tattoo about what family. Um, you're connected to, you would tattoo yourself with the symbols of your god. That's, I mean, think think like, a, again, like a, the ancient world with the Picts or the Thracians. You guys are, you know, mm-hmm. pretty heavily tattooed. So it's actually really easy for you to identify people that are within your um, circle of, of, of contacts. It doesn't help you if they're from far away because you have no idea what their symbols might be. So, uh, I'm I'm not gonna have require that you guys make any rolls. Uh, Harmast, you can figure this out. 
one of the dead people is definitely Genstall, the farm owner. Uh, he looks like he uh, uh, was bit by the dragon and thrown around. Mm. <clears throat> so, I, they, and for those of you, they, they, the, the animals, some of the animals were eaten a little bit, uh, but it doesn't look like the, an, the, the dragon was doing this because it was hungry. It was just doing this to, for the sake of doing it. Mm. Mm. Yanioth, let's go to the person that you just healed. Uh, yes. The the mother, Arndala. Uh, oh, I mean, she is. First thing she wants to know is 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 if her children are safe, if her daughter is safe, her son is safe. And those, there's two uh, two young like teenagers in the house, right? Yes. And her daughter's right here, so um, yes. I think I would. Uh, I make like soothing sounds and I'm like, no, 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 sh like, don't like, you're still injured. Um, and then I would, uh, turn to, turn to her daughter who was crying and be like, here, uh, comfort your mother. I must tend to, um, the other person whose name I don't know, the uncle, um, the I must tend we'll to just call him the uncle, the uncle, I, w I must tend to him. Um, and basically just be like, you know, the grieving is not my task the healing is and there's still someone who is injured so i'm gonna go um help him out um well the only let... question she has is is it, um after that and she's incredibly grateful when you know hugging her kids and and, mm -hmm. and all this very emotionally touching such but one wants to know um where her husband is um and i think i would turn like i'm probably already tending to making symbols doing magic however okay um like um but i would turn to her like during um this and be like the other members of my group have gone to find your husband um i do not know of his fate and just like kind of um straightforward you know like i'm in a persona that i have that is like there's a task to be done and i'm gonna do it and then after the healing and and uh, everything is done then we can um, have conversations, but right now we gotta make sure that these people don't die. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of being a little rude, <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, that's totally fine, Yania. Are, are, are you, how many, um, magic points do you want to spend healing this guy? Um, how does, how does he look? Does he look as injured as the other woman? He actually looks even slightly more injured. Great. Awesome. I'll use, right on death. <laughs> I'll use the max, the three, three points. Okay. These people are taking all of my healing points. <laughs> These NPCs, how dare they? <laughs> what do you think? It's not like we're going to need them later. <laughs> um, just let people die, all right? I know. By the way, this is, is one of the big differences um, in, uh, or one of the big features in RuneQuest is these communities are really important to you. I mean, they are a oh, yeah, big source absolutely. of resources. Uh, and a lot of you all have really strong loyalties to your that. community. So, what, so is this, what, is this, what is this community like part of? Like what? Um, this is part or... of your tribe. That, so these aren't direct. These aren't um, members of your same clan, but part so of your Col the Colimar tribe. They are Colimar. Yeah, my loyalty so, to them is like seventy percent. Man, I am really I care about these people. So it, they're your people. They're yeah. your people, and they've been. I don't just let you know, them die. Well, exactly. I'm gonna spend um, all those magic points. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you get okay. them back anyways. They're not like rune points. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. We're not giving them rune points. They can, they can get no, a magic. No. No. <laughs> yeah, nothing yeah, like goes through a ritual <laughs> for. <laughs> just the, just the spirit magic, all right? Not the not the rune magic. Right? You're not that cool. You probably only have like six hit points total. I'm not gonna bother. Um, let's just jump over to Vasana, and I think it was Vasana and Harmast. Yeah, Are you guys coming yeah. back to the farmhouse or? Yeah, yeah. Um, we'll, we'll kind of uh, close the area off where the bodies are and uh, close his and eyes. Start heading back. You're like, mm. Harmast, we should warn your father. Make sure the clan is ready in case this dream dragon returns. 
there's a uh, a kind of burning intensity and Hama size um, as he sees his dead kin- kinsman and uh, he says, yes, we'll let father know, but whatever this creature intends, if it intends to fight more of our tribesmen and slaughter them, then we must find it, Vasana, and kill it. Yes, well. We cannot allow yeah. such wanton destruction in our own lands. Especially since, obviously, it wasn't eating, so this was just out of cruelty? It kills for mm. pleasure. Because it it's can. It's troubling. Yes. We should, we should tell a good woman that her husband has passed. Yes. You might want to let... You're, you're not... Shit. Yanny off. <laughs> might want to let her break the news. Yes. Uh, she has a way with the common folk. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> she doesn't mind touching them. I... <clears throat> not so much. I'll uh, you know, head back into the, the farmhouse. Once again, this is like probably a little... Harmas thinks he's a little bit above this. He doesn't like that his kinsmen have died, but this is like, you know, it does smell of you know, pig shit in here, probably. So, uh, it, he'll it kind certainly of, does. Yeah. Wh- whisper to Yanioff, uh, or just nod to hers. Yanioff, a uh, moment. And as long as I'm done with the healing of this man, um, I would uh, step away because um, even though you're a little bit of a jerk, I still sent you on, I sent you to look, so I should hear what you have to say. So I go, like, I step out the door and, like, to the side so that the family doesn't see or hear what we're saying. Because I'm the assuming if dead. you're not going to just bring the guy in here, that means... Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to bring his head in or something. <laughs> yeah. He's a bit of a judge, Which but he's from that. Bring in. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... the, the man is dead, along with a brother or cousin of his. The beast killed them for pleasure. For pleasure? I do not eat this think sun. that it is the way of some creatures to destroy, but perhaps there is a reason for this one. If it has not been acting like this all its life, then there might have been a change. Regardless, I will tell the woman and her children that their father let, is let, dead. Let her know that we will uh, arrange any funeral costs and the like. And Vasana will uh, try to catch uh, Sorala's eye and like nod for her to come over. Is there like a um, a cult that does the like funeral funerary rites? Um, do we know what uh, god these people like? Do they have symbols on them of what god they might worship? Well, most likely they worship the same gods that you do. Um, okay. Ernalda. So Ernalda. Pretty much what everybody acknowledges Ronaldo the Earth Mother because she's the one who brings you food. She's the source of she's the source of life. Um, amongst these people, the 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 patron of tribes and and uh, uh, leaders tends to be Orlanth, which is your god, Vasana. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, odds are, at the very least, these people would would want to be um buried or or sorry not buried because that's not exactly what you all do but their bodies to be disposed of according to the rights of the traditional gods of your people so that would be okay so i'll 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 just you know hand wave that i know that because i don't but i do my character knows that your character does your character does um and so um yanioth kind of like straightens up and there's i mean she's a she's a priestess right she's an initiate but she probably she's still very young so she's probably still learning um things about like what older um like head priestesses would know but she's very much like i'm the I'm the the head person when it comes to these people's religion. That's these people's religion. That's right here, and I've got to deliver them very important news. So she like um, squares her shoulders and walks in. And um, I'm like in the in the movie version of this, you see her <laughs> walk into the room, but you don't see what's happening with the other people. It's more like her attitude um, as she goes in. Um, but she probably just goes up to the to the mother and says um your your husband or, or um 
he we found him he did not make it um i'm so sorry there's like comforting noises and then um of course we will perform all appropriate rites uh i don't know if you wish to see him now we will prepare him first um it was very violent <laughs> or, or like just like don't go running out looking for him well, well there's sure there's there is <laughs> of course as you would expect there is um uh tears and um oh, yeah. uh you know tears and and the traditional rending of garments and tearing at hair <laughs> oh. and uh oh, no. uh it, it, and all of that all of that uh Arndala, the mother says um uh, you know, there will be time enough for vengeance later. Which, this is another insetting thing. This is mm -hmm. this is a, a world where vengeance matters a lot. The way that you, you know, if, if family is killed, you have an expectation to bring whoever it did uh, to justice. Which, you know, this is, this is a, a violent ancient world. That usually mm -hmm. means doing it yourself, because there's no sheriffs, there's no uh, central police or anything. Uh, she says there's time enough for vengeance later. The tribe must be told. You must go, um, uh, please take my children to, to Clearwine Fort and tell the queen what happened here. The tribe mm -hmm. must be told that there is a dragon. Of course. Um, and then and I, like, of course the kids are crying bit. and yeah, uh, and I pause a little bit and then I like look at her very strongly in the like in the eyes and I say, "Vengeance, yes, but it does not do to butt your head against a beast of the sky. You will not win that fight yourself. You must stay here and care for these lands. Leave vengeance to the warriors." And then I would just like stand up. And just like, okay, don't go so out may... looking to die, because you will. You'll fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> so she's, um, she's willing to accept that you all are more qualified to go so, yeah. and deal with this <laughs> than she is. Just a bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, I would be like, if it's, is it customary to like bring ch the children before the queen after an event? like this or should they be like remain with their family um are uh, they now like the children of the tribe or something because their mother still lives well you would know you would i uh, without any animals with um uh, half the yeah. members yeah. dead okay this so form... they'll, they'll still starve and die right got it yes. so absolutely i would bring them to a place where they could be cared for yeah it would be I, I like let them, I let them say goodbye to their mother. I, w I walk out without like anything, but know that she'll probably prepare them their bags so that we can all journey. Like I let them say their goodbyes and their family bonding together. Um, and I come outside um, and say to uh, Vasana, Mister, we must bring these children to Clearwater. It will not do for them to stay here. They will starve with no food. Correct as always, sister. And Basana will uh, look over her shoulder to uh, Arndala <clears throat> and just uh, quietly say, Worry not, we will give your vengeance flight before turning back to uh, get her, her bison ready to uh, head out. Is there anything else you guys want to do while here? Tarala, Arma? There's nothing left right. for us here. No. Are there other um, settings in this area that might have been hit by the dragon that we could <clears throat> check on our way to Clearwater? Absolutely. Okay. Oh, yeah. We definitely uh, need to check in on them, too. Could and and the sun also. Down just a little bit here? And the sun also Absolutely. wanted to talk to uh, Sarala about um, if this sort yeah, of behavior perfect. is normal for dream dragons, as has been observed. Clear wine, I'm sorry, not clear water. Different <laughs> beverage. <laughs> the dream dragon's driven by uh, passions 
and uh, can sometimes be quite violent. It's not unheard of for them to attack settlements, but something Is there must, a way to uh, kill them, Sorala? Anywhere in those books of yours? There's perhaps a way to kill them, yes, but it'd be quite dangerous. Argrath, of course, wishes to unlock the secret of communicating with the dragons. Perhaps the dragon holds that secret. We should refrain from killing it until we know more. Mm. Perhaps for the vengeance. Um, if we, if, if, is this in hearing of the rest of the group, or are you guys so I, I would only talk about this, like, after we'd left the farm said, but whoever's traveling <laughs> with us. <laughs> Um, I think, gonna, I think like, if, I, if I'm in hearing, I'm just going to assume that we're traveling together and I overhear you guys. Um, and I, I, I ride up or walk up um, to be beside you and I say, yes, so the beast is passionate, but it would not just attack out of its natural rhythm if there were not something wrong. There are there dragons well about, wrong. but they don't just... It would I mean, be dead already if it made habit of attacking settings. True enough. Vengeance would have been sought upon it. Are you saying that perhaps something drives it forwards? Something with intent? All I know is that creatures, beasts, do not make habits of changing their rhythms for no reason. It is agitated, obviously. It tears at these animals and humans with no need of food. Mm, it yes. may be driven well, by passions, but its passions have not led us to wantonly kill before now. Chose the wrong tribe to attack. That much is certain, and I, I trust Yanioth. Her advice has led us this far. Let us check in any other settlements, see if there are others that have fallen. Yes. Bring word to the tribe. Well, along the, the, the road to Clairwine, you come by a number of other farms, and they haven't been attacked. Uh, you know, they have... People are beginning to, to uh, uh, call out alarms and such, and, and maybe, you know, a, a few kilometers after you've left that farm, there's, like, a militia already beginning to form um, of farmers... Um, Farmers and herders all, you know, trying to, to, to figure out what's happened. But it seems, from what you can figure, uh, that Genstall's farm was the only one that could get. That's odd. Just one? Perhaps the beast had its fill of slaughter. Perhaps it is headed somewhere else. Hmm. Perhaps someone, someone had a problem with... Mm -hmm. Perhaps someone had a problem with this steading or its people in particular and sent the dragon there. Uh, these dragons, do they have holds themselves? A uh, place of refuge, cave? Perhaps it went back to nest? Every creature has mm -hmm. a home, Harmast. Yes. I just hope it is not here. And the dragon flew but east? Who? Flew away east? It flew yeah. east. Okay. As we go along, uh, maybe start asking some of these people if they saw which direction the dragon flew in from, or which, you know, did it fly in from the east, or... The few people that saw, uh, that, that saw it said that it flew in over Tarnvizi's Grove. Which you can see on the map, the thing that says Grove. Okay. So it flew in from the east, also. Mm -hmm. It would seem so. Okay. I mean, these, they, these, the local farmers um, uh, weren't exactly keeping a big watch to see if, you know, dragons were going to fly in from somewhere. Uh, yeah. And when the dragon, <laughs> when they saw the dragon, folk first hunkered down in their farm, and after a little while, then they. You know, tried to contact their neighbors and and you know, try to get a bunch of people together, but they don't really know what to do, because it's a dragon. It it can probably kill a whole band of militia without much difficulty. Yes. So uh, Vasana Vasana would just encourage them to defend their homesteads, but not seek out anything that we will take word 
to the clan leader. Yeah. Uh, farmers will pay. The farmers will definitely pay attention at this time to the uh, warrior woman with the good armor riding on a bison because she seems to know what she's talking about. Uh, yeah. And they certainly don't have a clue what to do with a uh, uh, with a dragon. Is there any kind of like warding that I could do to try and like protect or at least give these people some kind of reassurance um, as we pass these homesteads? Can I like put a symbol of um, Arnalda uh, or like actually like a magic like ward on their you, home? I'm going to give you a range of options. In okay. Yeah. Uh, Option one is you can spend rune points to create a a warding. You don't have that many rune points. No, um, I don't have that many rune points. You don't know it, and uh, you will probably not get your rune points back during the course of trying to figure out what to do about. So that's the like a really big expenditure. That's a big spell. That's that's okay. your big magic. On the other hand, you can certainly try to help both by putting the markings or the runes of Ronalda on places and hope that it provides them with some security and reminds them that the gods haven't abandoned them. Yeah, I and think that I might think not have any direct mechanical um, impact. It's more like but... a reassurance. Yeah, yes. yeah, absolutely. Like as we pass through the towns, I would be, you know, speaking words of comfort and drawing the runes of Ronalda um and just generally trying to calm people even though we haven't done anything yet to actually solve their problem i want them to feel a little bit better and less like they're gonna die so it's just it's 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 not doing anything mechanically but fictionally i'm just trying to you know soothe the frazzled nerves well what i'm gonna to, to see how effective this is at just okay. soothing folk, I, I'm mm -hmm. going to make this uh, based off your charisma. So that's basically okay. off your presence. Uh, so try. try to roll under your charisma times five. Charisma times five. I think I could, yes, I could do that. I got a four. That is significantly under that. I believe that is. Yeah. What is it's your charisma times five? Uh, my charisma times five is eighty-five. Yeah, that's a critical. Mm -hmm. um, people, you calm people down. They're convinced that 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 the goddess Arnaldo will protect them. Um, that that you know that that you will make sure that the the goddess looks out for them they are very relieved by this and by your presence so as they um, should be exactly exactly uh, it also means that that the odds are there's going to be a lot of people making lots of offerings to the goddess Arnalda, which is which is good for your cult but on the other hand yeah. they do have an expectation that you guys will do something about it I mean, we're not not going to do something about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are we fine moving on to Clearwine Ford, or is there more what you guys want to do on the yeah, way? Yeah, it was just generally like checking to make sure everything's okay. Uh, yeah, Vasana will allow well, her sister you... some, uh, yeah, some of this, but urge her to hurry. <laughs> well, could you put up the picture called Clearwine? Ooh. I certainly can. I gave them a whole folder of stuff so that we can yeah. see pretty pictures. I do like pretty pictures. Me too. And, and and I wanted to have this one to just kind of give you, it helps give an idea of, of what things look like. And uh, but this is a, a, a picture of, of Clearwine Fort. That it'll eventually load. But while it's loading, I'll I'll give a little bit of a description. So Clearwine Fort is uh, it's a fortified kill town of about fifteen hundred people. So it's not very big. Uh, it it's got it's it has walls that were built by a a previous civilization, 
and that your people have settled this, uh, settled within the walls and rebuilt them. Uh, and about a quarter of the town is just the, the, the palace and temple of the tribe, which is where the, the ruler of the tribe, yeah, you have to shrink this, I suspect, a little bit. Uh, but where the, 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 yeah, so that's what it looks like. Um, so the Royal Citadel is where the, uh, the, the tribal king resides. And this is, this is, you know, looks really impressive on this, but this is like, uh, uh, like in ancient Greece, uh, the palaces at Mykidae or, or whatnot. It's, it's, you have a, a building there that is basically a meeting hall and, uh, it's, very easy for anybody who is a member of the tribe to demand a meeting uh, with the king, which in this case is a queen, uh, and um, bring things to to the attention of the leaders of the, the uh, of the tribe. For you, Vasana, the other significant thing is that the ruler of the tribe, the queen, is also the head of your cult. So she is the one. She's she's effectively the high priest of Orla. Yes. Yes. And my father also worked for her. Yes. Yes. Um, so the 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 hall of the Kolimar kings is a rectangular stone building, fronted by an open uh, columned port, uh, portion and roofed with terracotta tiles. Within is an open hearth surrounded by four columns. Smoke from the hearth is vented through an opening on the roof. Of course, the hearth is, is smoky because it's winter. Uh, there are, around the walls, inside of the walls, are frescoes uh, depicting divinities and, and heroes. And at one end of the hearth is the queen of the tribe and those of her advisors that she's brought in. I assume that you demanded a meeting for her, saying that there's been a dragon. Um, Absolutely. I probably should have let you guys do that, but that seemed pretty tough to plan it for you. It's fine. Somewhere, Somewhere <laughs> ahead. Uh, <laughs> so There's she wants question. to know what's happened. What's so is so urgent? And then she's got herself, one of the priests of Orland, um, and probably another, the, several priests of Orland and Storm God. Okay, uh, Vizana will stride into the. Of Ronaldo here. Uh, not with, not, not right here. There is in the mm. town, there's the main, that down below, uh, is the main temple to Ernalda, but the yeah, queen seems wondering. to surround herself by, surround herself with Orlean priests. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I was wondering if the queen had, but obviously not. I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little frowny. I'm not taking the lead on this in interaction. I'm just like... No Earth Goddess initiates, eh? Question mark. Does That's not the one she calls on immediately. That's not her first thought. Yeah, well, I notice. <laughs> yeah, Vasana, yeah, Vasana, will remember this. Vasana will stride up confidently, um, but with a heavy, uh, heavy look about her. And uh, uh, my dear queen, uh, I regret that tragedy always seems to find us meeting one another, but there has been a dragon attack. The Ginstall farmstead. It was hit. Uh, she's very troubled by that. Uh, um, I mean, a dragon can can kill uh, countless animals. Um, uh, can can kill can kill farmers in an entire valley uh, before anyone can respond to it, and it flies. Making it very hard to, to to fight. She's very troubled by this. Um, she wants to know anything that you can tell her about. Well, apparently, only one farmstead was hit. It was vicious. It wasn't even it seemed for food. It was just for the cruelty of it. Animals slaughtered without being engorged. Um, Ginstall himself was killed defending his for his farmstead. I'm sure he died bravely. We have brought the children here. His wife has stayed behind and sworn vengeance. 
That is all we know right now. It was it was a purple dream dra dream dragon, <clears throat> and it was headed east, um, seen by the other farmers along the way. I, uh, you know, she's your cousin, Harmon, and of course, mm -hmm. you know that, that you, you're related to her by marriage. So she she will naturally um, ask if you have anything you can add. Cousin. I would bid that you allow me and my companions to hunt down this dream dragon and bring vengeance for the homestead. It slaughtered several kinsmen, tribesmen lay dead and unavenged. We know that it headed east somewhere into the forest, and I intend to follow it there. If you can be of any aid to us, then I would appreciate it. Well... I, I'll tell you this much: the, the the queen is awfully impressed by uh, you saying that you want to hunt this down. I mean, she's awfully impressed mm -hmm. by this. This is this is uh, uh, you know that is that is no small thing to pledge to do. Mm -hmm. He's very hot headed. I mean, uh, <laughs> She she does want to talk to her advisors a little bit about this and find out what they know or can oh, yeah. advise. And one of the first questions that she has to the priests of Orlanth is how one can fight a dragon. Uh, and the, the Orlanth priests say, uh, say that if you, you try to fight this a dragon using nothing but brute force, you will die. They're they're very emphatic about this. That that um, it is stronger than any man. Uh, if you just try to, to, it's it's got thick hide that that um, uh, can can ignore most uh, sword blows. It is bigger than a bison. Uh, if you just try to fight it, you will die. But if you are clever and know the secrets of the gods, you may succeed. And um, they, these being priests of Orland tell you that you should fight it the way Orland did. And from the beginning of time, Orland fought the dragons to make the world a place for gods and mortals. Orland killed the ancient dragons and many many that were lessers. And Orland's heroes repeated Orland's deeds and managed to break the dragon. But Orland used cleverness and not mere brute strength to fight the dragon. For example, Orlanth used the winds to blow away the, the poison breath and the flames of the dragon. Uh, in, in other stories, Orlanth snuck up upon the dragons um, and attacked them, uh, attacked them before they were aware of it. In yet others, Orlanth blinded the dragons with his weapons. Um, Orlanth would always try to find the weakness of the dragon and use magical weapons like his flint sword. Such cleverness is why Orlanth is the king of the gods. But essentially, they're suggesting that uh, use, man use whatever magic you can to um, uh, keep the dragon from really being able to attack and attack it from surprise. Praise Orlanth. That's the extent of their useful advice. Thank you. <clears throat> that is valuable knowledge that will help keep me and my companions alive. One of the other uh, priests suggests that, that if this dragon has been around from um, for any length of time, then presumably the dryad of Tarnditi's grove would know something about it. And so their suggestion is, uh, his suggestion is, is that you should talk to the Dryad to find out what she might know about it. I am so about talking to the Dryad. Let's go. Yeah, I, I, swing I perk to, like, up immediately yeah. when I hear yeah. this. <laughs> yeah, no, perhaps you could <laughs> stop sulking. And perhaps you know something about these Dryads. You seem very interested in it. Dryads. Uh, if I if I'm getting my right my mythology right, dryads are the elementals of Earth. They are closer to Arnalda than anyone. Is that? That's more or less I mean, I'm correct. I'm assuming yes. based on Greek mythology that that, yep. that would be. Yep. 
you are exactly right. So it's a it's a um, a minor, a very minor Earth goddess. Yeah. So I would perk up when they suggest um, going to the Dryad, and when you uh, consult me, I basically very excitedly, my words kind of tumbling over each other, um, explain that um, uh, the Dryads are are um, the like Earth earth goddesses children or whatever and that of course if 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 it would be helpful we should go and consult with this one um yeah just very we much will. like of course we should go see her yes we should do that well we should uh we should temper our expectations sister the dragon did fly over the grove so we know not their involvement the dryads are clever she will not have been beaten by one dragon. Like all I'm just hopeful. We must be clever as well and hope that the dry dryad was too. This gives we us hope. We will offer, we'll give you all a gift to help, given that you volunteered to do this. Um, I mean, again, as I say, that is, that is, it's that is, is a bold it's move. Idiotic. She will uh, <laughs> have the priests of Orland present you with um, what she's with a, a ox hide bag an enchanted uh, bag made out of an ox hide uh, which contains she calls it the bag of winds and in game mechanics it's a, a, a bag that contains an air element so you can open it up and I mean the way it works is you can open it up and you can give one command to that air elemental, and it will carry out that one command. And then well, I'd heard go off of a the wind air. bag before, but this is something else. <laughs> this is something. <laughs> Alternatively, Vasana, you can spend two. You could spend two rune points and command it. This would be a cold spirit of yours, and you could tell it what to do for fifteen minutes. Oh my. So either you can oh. open it once and it'll do the one thing you tell it to do, or you can or you can spend two of your three hero uh rune points when you open it up and it'll do what you tell it to do. So again, it's for 15 minutes your guys instead call. of just the one thing. Right. Hmm. So and she gives that to you as back. her gift to help you. And the uh, priests hey. remind you that the um uh Orlanth used his bag of, uh, uh, used the winds to blow away the poisons uh, of, of the dragons. Yes, that is I how, have... That is how the woman was wounded, poison. It was not claws or teeth. Yes, the dragon uses its breath. It is vicious. This will be a great boon in the battle, if should it come. And we do as Olaf did. Trick it. Must find it first. Well, we know where to go. Mm -hmm. Well, we know to go east. Before we, talk we go to this anywhere, Brad. I would like to go to the Temple of Arnalda and request assistance from my goddess and the priestesses of my order. Very well. And I look, I do like a side eye at the uh, Orlanth guys. Like, yeah, y'all are fine and all, but. <laughs> You got nice bags, but <laughs> yeah, you got this bag got or whatever. Too. But you're not Arnaldo, all right? Well, if you look at the map of of Clearwine, um, mm -hmm. there is that big building labeled Number Two, and that is the Temple to Arnaldo. Uh, like on the way out. Yeah, on the way out. Okay. It's oh yeah, it's, so it's right on the outside there. of the city. Got it. And it Arnaldo is the pa although Orlinth is the patron of your tribe. Arnalda is the patron goddess of your clan. So you all have a close connection with with that goddess. You are an initiative uh, of her Yanyoth and and, and um, your mother is a priestess. Uh, mm -hmm. this is this is not hard for you to, to to get a meeting with the high priestess. Could you there's a picture, I think, um the current high priestess is not that much older than you are. Seriously? Why am yep, I not high a, priestess? 
right? Well, come on now. That's a good I'm goal slacking. for you. You must rededicate yourself, sister. <laughs> Could you put up the one that yeah. says um, High Priestess? High Priestess. Perhaps uh, slaying a dragon would give you enough renown to uh, challenge for the top. As committed as you two are to slaying this beast, I am not as confident in your abilities. Nor I. Also, I, I do not careful. wish to destroy such creatures. Well, we but must there is defend. vengeance. Yes, there is vengeance. It must be sated. <laughs> there are not so many dragons in the world that I would wish to kill any of them if I could avoid it, sister. It has already killed our people. It will pay. And I'm just like, okay. Well, it is it. not hard to get uh, 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 what, you, what, what would you like? Um, I. Uh -huh. I want to just like generally pray for guidance um, from Ronalda in terms of like uh, like focusing on the dragon and ways to because like I'm really like an eighty five percent beast rune so like these creatures I feel a sympathy for it and I don't I don't want to to destroy I'm more about like life um, and so I want to see even though Harmas and Vasana are very set on destroying and vengeance and stuff, I would like to ask if there's a way that we could do, like, avoid the death and destruction shit and maybe go on a little bit more of a magic or, like, healing, healing the rift between the people, um, Feeling uh, whatever's wrong with the dragon that made it suddenly decide that it was going to murder a bunch of folk. Um, so I'm asking for non-violent solutions from um, the goddess, and probably also I would consult with the high priestess because she's the she speaks with uh, the goddess as well and like follows her will and stuff. Okay, um, as as always, I'm going to give you a range of options. Uh huh. You could you could. Uh, the, the, the big option is you could spend one rune point and there's a mm -hmm. spell called divination, which means you can ask a question directly to Arnalda and get an answer, but it costs one rune point. Right. Cause you're, this is, you know, you're going to the temple. It's the right place to cast it, et cetera. It would, it would definitely give you an answer or you could rely, try to rely upon your own gut feelings uh, and any advice from the, the high priestess. Um, I think I'm going to go hard. Um, this is definitely an instance where I would spend the rune point and actually ask my goddess. Um, okay. I'd like to divine an answer. I've got magic up right here, so let's get to divination. So, it's a common rune spell. It, what, what, what's mentioned is on your character sheet all common yeah. rune spells. A holy place of the and, casters. And I'm glossing. I'm, I'm, I'm tend For to try point, to gloss over this question. Right. Yes. Okay. So you can ask a question. Think your your oracle at Delphi. You can yes. ask a question, and you'll get. Um, a a answer straight from the goddess but it's it's an important thing you know this is one of your room points so you may want to think oh, yeah. very carefully no, about it i i'm this is a very important thing for me i'm definitely uh taking it seriously i i feel like we're rushing to a violent answer when we could um when we could perhaps choose something else also you made the point that like it would be really easy to die um, going up against the dragon. And I also don't want Vasana to die. I don't want to lose more members of our cult or uh, clan if we don't have to. So, um, yeah, I would, I would, I would definitely, I'm taking it seriously. I would really like to, it says you should, it said you roll a D100. I will that? roll the D100. Okay. In and secret. then it's, yeah, and then it's my caster's POW times five. Where, do, where can I find that PO, power? Power times five. Power. Got it. Um, let me just do that for you. So 75 would be the percentage. Or, yeah. 
Okay. Secret rolls. I don't. So I don't know if it went. Ugh, that sucks. I don't know if it worked or not. Oh man. So okay. uh, you'll get an answer, but I want to know your question. Uh, I I pray to Arnalda, and I'm like in my mind. I'm holding the image of this great beast as it flew over us. Um, and I, I pray to her and I ask her, um, how can we calm the spirit of this great beast so that it does not harm our clan further? Okay, let me, you'll have to forgive me for a moment as I have to think what the goddess's answer is. Yeah, no, you, that's very, it's is, very important. Well, while I'm pondering that, is there anything the rest of you three want to do? It turns out that the Earth Priestess is the most active. Yeah, um, I mean, there's not, I, I'm, I think we, I'm ready to get going, personally, uh, just because I do think we're going to get some answers at the, uh, at the Grove. Um, but I don't think there's anything in Clearwine that, uh, Sorala is interested in right now. I, I yeah, check in with my like other hundred cousins that I have here. Uh, <laughs> just make sure that we're all okay. <laughs> well, I'll tell you this much, Harmass. You have impressed your father. You have <gasps> impressed your family with this. Daddy. They are they you know, because they had some doubts about your you know, ability to mm -hmm. to, to really live in your family's footsteps. But if you manage to you and your friends are able to take down a dragon. They, you will have definitely established a great need for yourself. Same thing with you, Visana. I mean, there is no greater path to herodom than than dealing with the dragon. That being said, the goddess speaks to you, daughter. She wants to be worshipped as she was in the past. That's the what the goddess knows? tells you. She wants, she wants to be to worshipped. Be... Worship. She wants to be worshipped as she was in the past. Okay. Now, Sarala, you might know a little bit about this from the email uh, I sent you. Yeah, so I probably, like, come out of the, the temple, and it's been, I don't know how long this takes to cast, like an hour, I think. About an hour. Um, yeah. Um... And I am very thoughtful and kind of walking slowly and definitely like you can see the wheels turning. Um, are you are you guys waiting for me or do I meet you somewhere or? Yeah, Vasana would have just been gathering uh, supplies for the trip, um, not knowing how long it would be, but uh, would have met outside the uh, the Earth Temple. Yeah, because like you're, we've traveled together for like years, so you would know when I'm like, I need to talk to my goddess. Like this is about how long it would take, you know? Yeah. So she t she takes eighty five minutes exactly. It's it's fine. <laughs> Every time. She's like clock. She's like clockwork. <laughs> yeah, you know the goddess is very succinct. Mm -hmm. um, she gets that from her father. Um, so, yeah. So I I'm probably just like sitting outside of the temple. Um, just waiting and thinking when you come, and you, you guys did, all didn't have anything else to do other than our mast, right? Are we ready to go? Yeah, just, just, just gathering supplies. Yeah, she's ready. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Okay, yeah, so him. then I would, I, I would come up to the rest of the group and I say, Arnalda has given me much to think on. She says that this creature, this dream dragon, wishes to be worshipped as she was in the past. Um, perhaps the dryad we, we, we go to seek knows more of the past of this dragon. Sorella, have your uh, texts told you anything about this that could shed light? There was a time when the people of this land uh, were connected with the dragons here, but that's long past. Um, perhaps it lashes out because the proper observances are not uh, met it hopes to strike the past. strike fear into people so that it may be worshipped perhaps or anger it's a powerful creature with a difficult uh, mindset to understand 
Fear can be a form of worship, if that's where it draws mm. its power. I do not think that is what it wants. You saw that creature, it was beautiful. Dangerous, yes, but if it really wished yes, it was... to rule by fear, it would have attacked us long before now. Mm. We must go see the Dryad, perhaps she knows more. Mm -hmm. Yes, perhaps something or someone reminded it of what it has lost. Let us head out. Shall we on our way. start the triads mm -hmm. road? It's again, if you look at those map, the that that previous map, it, the Dryads Grove is is you know less than ten miles away, so everything around here is pretty quick to get to, and the the forest called Tarndizi's Grove is about it's about eight miles from Clearwine Fort. It's thickly wooded area of oak, pine, and fir, with with irregular labyrinthine hollows up to several meters deep. The terrain is too rugged for wheeled vehicles, and you all have to lead your mounts through the tangle of roots, branches, and hollows. Within mm. the grove, it is forbidden uh, to cut or burn the trees of the grove, because the whole grove is considered to be sacred to the Earth Goddess. And I'm assuming that none of you guys decide that this would be a good time to cut down trees and Oh no, I make sure I no, make sure to like we, we remind wanna... them all before we go in. I'm just like so you know this place is sacred. Don't be stupid. I I just yes. you know, probably glaring a little bit at Harmas because he's so like like kind of like prideful sometimes. I'm just like, don't get any thoughts in your head about trying to mess yes. with this beautiful place. We don't want to Fear draw not. the ire of a Brayhard. Brayhard. Mm -hmm. Why? Um, <laughs> I will behave myself. What my time suit. of day is it? No. You tell me. I mean, um, the time when we it don't. It sounds need a like lot. you guys. <laughs> it sounds like you guys have been doing an awful lot of traveling. Yeah. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, you might have wanted to spend the night in clear wine, or you might I, have I wanted think, to set I, off immediately. Yeah. I think Harmas would have wanted to just to spread word amongst his cousins and so that word reached his father. Whether or not we actually did that is another matter, but he would have pushed for us to stay at night. Yeah, I think that we 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 pushed through through all of those steadings the day before and got here and had the meeting. I think it would make sense that it had like the night had had passed mm -hmm. and then we set out. Yeah. Because I also like consulted with my goddess. I mean that's time, right? So let's say yeah. like it's the next thing. Next yeah. thing. That makes a lot more sense to me. You have to and, and please forgive your poor GM for not having a great concept of time because no, I fine. personally right it's now fine. don't have tremendous <laughs> concept of time at being three four in the morning. Um, <laughs> the, uh, so let's say you get there, if it's about eight miles, um, you probably get into the grove middle of the morning. And right. I would love it if you guys would try to make a scan roll uh, okay. as you're traveling through the road. Let's That's a see. perception. Scan would yeah. a perception roll. Scan. Okay. Scan is 30. Woo! Ugh. Yeah. That's me. Um, this is a oh, grove well, that's, that's sacred, sacred to the earth um, goddess, you said, right? Yes. Can I use my affinity for Earth to like help yeah, me out? Yeah, absolutely. As an augment, yeah, absolutely. Augment. As okay, an augment. Okay, so I would roll. I would roll a d100 for my Earth first. Correct. And then tell me if it succeeds. Specials, criticals. Oh my God, that landed right on 90, and my Earth is 90. <sighs> what does that mean? That means you just is so you exactly succeeded. Oh, okay. I so succeeded. add 20 to your scan. Okay, and then this one is for my scan. So let's hope that was better than the other one. Ooh. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> you are cool. <laughs> you know, you know, Yania, you are just enjoying the beauty of this place. <laughs> the, the beauty of the forest. It's it's yeah. gorgeous. It's a beautiful forest. Anybody? Yeah. How about the rest of you guys? Yeah, Hamas just succeeds. 
Actually, I do have twenty percent success. Yeah, I I got an eighty of thirty-five. I eighty-nine of yeah. thirty-five. Basana is too distracted by thinking about uh, plucking all the brambles and uh, briars out of uh, her bison's fur. Armast, you are absolutely certain that your party is being followed and watched. You never get a good view of... Or or did you get a special? Did you get one-fifth of your chance, Armast? Oh, I had 35 and I rolled 15. That's some... Math no, no, okay. It's you never half. see it, but you're absolutely <laughs> certain that you all are being followed and watched. I will alert the party of this uh, immediately and say, Cousins, there is something watching us. Something has been stalking us through these woods ever since we've entered. Hmm. Perhaps and, it is. And I'm probably like entranced by the forest. I'm like, the forest yeah, itself is watching us. Could be the like, yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm being quite literal here. I, 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 I'm not being a metaphor. <laughs> Someone is watching us. <laughs> Someone. Could be the elves. Perhaps Could it be is the dryad. The dryad. That's what I'm thinking. Perhaps uh, an the offering dryad. to the earth goddess or a display of our faith would be enough to uh, allow such a creature to know that we come in peace and not harm. I think yeah, that, like, Ganyoth is just so, like, entranced by... Because I got a really bad score <laughs> on my scan, right? I'm, I'm so entranced <laughs> by, like, the trees and the feeling of the wood that you're, like, perhaps an offering or a showing of, like, who we worship, that she just starts, like, dancing, like, through the trees. And, like, oh, do it, like I, I'm assuming that there's some kind of, like, uh, symbolic, like, worshipful dance that she's just oh, like, yes, this is... This is grand. Yeah. Like, I'm totally into it. Tree dance. You're totally happily yeah. blissed <laughs> out dance. dancing through yeah. dancing oh, yeah. through no. these spooky, eerie woods. It's so beautiful. While, the, while Harmast is all nervous that you guys are being followed. Yep. To get yourself killed. What are the customary offerings for a dryad? Like, can we leave an offering of wine or something? Uh, wine <laughs> would be an excellent offering. Food? Yeah. Um, uh, not meat. That would be the so wine, food. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Masana will break break out some bread. A bread and wine offering. I just want to know how good I'm dancing. So let me just one sec. You have a dance skill. You're actually a really good dancer. That's why I want to know how good I'm dancing. I'm dancing not well because I got my dance sixty-five. I just (laughs) my dancing. And you missed it by four. Five, six, seven, eight. Come, come on. Yeah, uh, come on. <laughs> She's just really distracted. She's all over the place right now. <laughs> yeah, this is. I'm getting, I, 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 I'm getting the feeling that basically Yanioth is so blissed out that, you know, she's just kind of doing this hippie dance through the woods. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, absolutely. Um, that's what she's doing. <laughs> she whereas Sarala, are goddess. you going to offer like, Sarala and Vasana? Are you guys going to um, put down some food or bread or something? Or. I thought uh, I, Sorala was going to offer uh, wine. I think Vasana was offering bread. Yeah, I was okay. going to take some bread, and I have some jam that I'll uh, put with it. Got to have jam with bread. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Do you um, have tea room. with your jam and bread? You leave, a, you leave a few some. offerings. <laughs> um, nobody comes out. On the other hand, nobody attacks you as Yanioth continues to traipse through the woods. So it may have been a good thing to have done. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys head down uh, into uh, a little valley in the center of the grove where there is uh, a, a open, small open stand of about a dozen redwood trees. And these do not grow normally uh, in this area. But there is like, you know, cool. Uh, most of you guys are from North America. You know what a a redwood stand looks like. Oh yeah, poisoned, poisoned jam. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the, <laughs> so, keep trying. There, to get but there is this this stand of redwood. Uh, and and they're just huge, immense, awe-inspiring trees. And Yanyath, you are just in in 
happy bliss. Oh yeah, uh, I'm doing the same thing I did with the, with the dragon. I just like look up to the height of these trees, and I'm just like stroking their 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 bark, and I'm just like, this this place is so beautiful. Every time I come here, and she's just she's very much just in awe. You know, there's a number of sacred stones and such that 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 offerings can be made. You can you can have your Nutella and and bread offerings there. Um, <laughs> But the other thing that's quite visible now is what was following. And it was about a dozen elves. Oh. And they they are watching you all very, very... Uh, I mean, RuneQuest elves, Galanthan elves, are forest spirits. They're not mm -hmm. people. They're, they're plants. They are, the, they are literally the... Uh, I think earlier uh, someone had said that the forest is watching uh is watching you guys literally that's what having a bunch of elves follow you means and they've got yeah. bows in her um not terribly happy that there are humans in the middle of the sacred grove they're not making attack but they say um uh one of the elves uh says that this is a place, um, this is a place sacred to the Dryad. Um, what do you want here? Have you come to make offering? <laughs> I like, I like nudge Yanni off. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> and I like, I like, I turn around because I, my scan score was so bad. I did not notice these people <laughs> so I like at turn all. the head, you know, like, like, oh, just like <laughs> And I, I probably like, um, cause these are actual like earth spirits as opposed to people that just worship the earth so i'm probably very respectful of them um and so i would make some kind of like a, like a deep bow or some kind of um recognition of of how um special they are to to me and my goddess and be like um yes we have come to seek uh the the knowledge of the dryad in a great quest um and uh I don't know if, if there would be something that would be customary because like just giving bread doesn't seem like enough for such like a big like ask like having a conversation with um i have uh no i've just got like jewelry and vessels and stuff i don't think a wood spirit would care about that um you there's i mean some options could be um uh, a gift like uh, more impressive than bread, but maybe. Mm -hmm. um, whoops! <laughs> Sorry, we're being attacked by a giant cat. Uh, oh, no. Uh, you <laughs> could give a. Funny. You might want to give a gift of 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 wine, or to be more magically uh, magically appropriate, you could offer the forest some of your magic. And you've gotten all the magic points back that you spent yesterday. Okay. Yeah, no, I could I would definitely like give my magic, my life force, my essence, give some of that to the to the forest and the elves and the dryad. Um and so yeah, if that's something that I could offer, uh that would make sense. I would say, um I offer you um uh, uh, creatures of, of the earth. Um and the dryad, uh, blood of my blood, uh, power of my power, spirit of my spirit, and just be like, this. I'm offering you just magic shit, you know. <laughs> but I say it in some kind of like very wordy, religious kind of way. <laughs> I don't know. How about the rest of you all? You gonna join her in on her her magical <laughs> worship ceremony? Uh, yeah, yeah, follow I her lead. So. I've been acting <laughs> super weird, by the way. Remember everything so, that leads up to this. I was dancing and yeah. yeah. So. so yeah, but so Hamas, knows her. Have... Oh, go ahead. I was going to say Harmast is more of a uh, negotiator and diplomat, so he would any words that are falling short from Yanioff, he like embellishes uh, and uh, explains in the most sort of courtly of terms. Um, so if she's a little bit excited. Uh, he'll try and uh, 
Yeah, well, what she means to say is um, that we are <laughs> all in your service here. And I will, like, push over some wine as well. You know, I'm not going to make you guys have to roll for it because I'm actually pretty entertained by uh, <laughs> just as a, a, an answer. Tell me how many of your fan. own magic points you guys are going to get for the Dryad, if any. Um, um, the sauna will give two magic points okay. in the form of song, um, a song of, uh, of, of peace and uh, diplomacy. Oh, I'll okay. chuck in two as well, and I tell them about my tribe, the Colima tribe, and how great we are, and how I'm the son of Branfoss. <laughs> oh, so you're you saying, might, You know like, my dad rules it, right? People, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, you know my dad? He's kind of a big deal. So Rall is going to sacrifice three, and she's going to say that we, we come here seeking the light of truth, that a dragon flew and attacked one of the steadings west of here yesterday. We wish only information. No harm and no uh, disrespect. But perhaps you know something and we can be of assistance. Um, emphasizing her sort of truth and, and, and togetherness, unity. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna sacrifice... Yeah, I'm gonna sacrifice, I think, five? Um, oh, wow. This is like... Yeah, no, like she's, this is also to do with the fact that she was really entranced by this place and she's been rolling really poorly. So she's just like doubling down on like how into this she is. Um, and like both Vasana and Harmast are um, singing and she kind of like uses her magic and the magic of the forest spirits to like the, not the forest spirits, but the, um, the earth um, that like inhabits her to kind of like weave in a harmony that is underneath like she's singing wordlessly underneath their songs um and just like blending in a like underlying uh worship of the earth and like i understand and like i'm the same as you and we all want the same goals um we're here to prevent great harm and like she's just like tying in all these offerings together like like a tapestry it, it's totally this thing where it's like really religious notes below and then Harmas is coming in with the and that's my dad yeah. <laughs> you know again really um, we did it his so cool. way <laughs> what just because we've been getting a lot of fumbles and and um other interesting dice rolls i would like yeah, i would like um Harmas. <laughs> You oh, to roll against your harmony rune. Oh, uh, my harmony is 90. Let's try oh, and screw oh. this one up. Don't do it. Oh, there you right. go. nice. That's critical. What did you roll? I rolled 11. 11. Okay, so that is a plus 30, Yanioth, your earth rune. Since oh, damn, I seems... can't even fail. There's no way. Oh, there always is. Okay. You can always roll zero, zero. There's always a way. I you roll roll 100 now. More, so... I say that the fate rune in the eye. Okay, we're, we're fine, but... All right. And, and, and all of this, all this magic and the singing and, and um, uh, prayers, and from out of the central redwood tray steps... Uh, a woman. She has skin that is co that's like made out of copper, and her hair is green and made um, out of leaves and um, uh, you know the leaves of a redwood. And um, she greets you uh, as uh, uh, her cousins. She uses a term that, that expresses a connection to you all, but not close family. Does. Um, and she, sa she says that she is Tarndizi, um, uh, the goddess of this place. And she accepts uh, your worship. Great, Tarndizi. 
We come to ask of your long memory questions of the dream dragon that dwells to the east. Very, um, the, my goddess, Arnalda, said that once it was worshipped. Do you remember these times? She says, Yarizum Storm has awakened again. I remember her from the from the third and final Unity Council, when men and elves and dragons uh, uh, worked together one last time before they tore themselves apart, as your as your species always does. Yarizum Storm dreamt that she was the goddess. Sorry. She dreamt that she was the ancestor of the people here so that she might communicate with your kind. Perhaps she does again, but no longer recognizes you. Or worse, perhaps she recognizes you as people who are not native to here, who came from uh, uh, outside of these lands. Um, if that makes any sense. So, would I know, like, are we native to here? Your like, stories... We... You came... Your ancestors came here centuries ago. So, in my mind, in my, like, span of time, like, yeah, we are native to yeah. here, yes. obviously. I, I, I throw in a, like, my dad's been here forever. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, But she's uh, addressing the... Um, Charm Diaz, she's referring to the Empire of the Worms, friends. Yes, yes, she is. That's the Unity Council that she's referring to is the the, the Empire of the Worms, friends, and she says she remembers Yurizum Storm from that time. Hmm. And this was before the Kolimar came to reside in this valley. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. So uh, the dragon could see us as invaders if she is awakened. Perhaps if it just knew of the might familiar. of the Kolimar, it would change its mind. Or perhaps just an introduction. She doesn't know us. If the dragon dreams things and they become true, perhaps it can dream that it is uh, the begetter of our people as it did of the people that lived here before. I must say... It would say. not wish to kill its family. Befriending a dragon would be a mighty deed, too. And something that Argrath would be greatly pleased by. It would be a massive ally. A yes. misunderstanding surely cannot result in more bloodshed. Creature such as this, it doesn't know the Kolimar yet. Let us introduce them. If, if it once knew how to speak with us, is there a way to remind it? Are you asking the dryad? Yeah. Well, like all dreams, Yerizm Storm wants you to join her in her dream. She wants your kind to worship her. Oh, oh, sorrow is all about. That's that's all. Listen to her. Let her be queen of these lands again. The true dragon behind her cares nothing about such things. But even true dragons dream of things that they ignore, reject, you. Either join uh, join her in her dream, or dispel it and end her dream. So we need to incept her into believing that we're her people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I spin my little top. <laughs> <laughs> I fall back. You know, really slow. Uh, You're on a rail. All of a sudden, the trees like go like sideways. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, addressing <laughs> Tarbius, does uh, do you know where uh, Yarism Storm dwells now? Uh, the the uh, Yarism Storm was worshipped by the people here. Um, uh. At the tomb, uh, sorry, sorry, I'm zoning for a quick moment here. Uh, Yerizm Storm 
uh, is likely where she always has been. Your people used to speak to her at the tomb where the queen of this land still sleeps. Uh, perhaps she awaits you there. Now, those you guys are local to this area. You know that there is um, there's a lot of old tombs from centuries and centuries ago, and one of the tombs is called the Queen's Tomb. And it's maybe about 15 miles east. Mm. 15 miles east, he said? Well, the beast did head east. Well, um, yeah. What was the dryad's name again? Tarnbeezy. Okay, so I address Tarnbeezy and I say, you knew you were you were yet living um, when last the dragon dreamed of leading our people. If you were to give us advice whether to end this dream or continue it, what advice would you give? Well, that's a good question. Um... The dragons, the dragons have always been here. Their dragon pass is their next. And the dragons are both benevolent and malevolent. Malevolent. No different from fire, storm, or water. And the, the true dragons are beyond this world and rarely involve themselves um, of it except in their dreams. If you're, when your people have participated in their dreams before, it did not turn out well. Uh, but perhaps that is just simply the nature of your fun, is to play with forces that are more powerful than you can comprehend in this use of power. That may, that perhaps that is simply the nature of human beings. can't say that's wrong in other words she doesn't really give you an answer there uh well last time people have out super well (laughs) no it didn't um but on the other hand that is in the nature of humans to to um play with uh, to to try to deal with forces more powerful than they are yeah and the things that your people do rarely work out um for the best. We'll have to prove She says that best. not not like trying to diss you all. No, but no, no, just no. sort of <laughs> just, they Oh she she's really me. old and she's like, Y'all fuck shit up all the time. This ain't yep. gonna be any different. I, is what I she's think this is a, a personal slight against me and my dad. Of course <laughs> <you do. laughs> um, but the think of what we could learn if we joined. Think of the Mistakes that we could unmake. I oh, yeah, absolutely, Sorala. You could also but succumb to its will. Quite, and there is still the matter of vengeance. What's the risk? Vengeance my, must my be My people satisfied. only. Yes, but my my people have only thrown off the yoke of bondage not too long ago. Our memory is strong. I will not succumb to yet another master. Just because, uh, and 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 she looks at at her half sister. Just because it is beautiful. Argrath could use the dragon to take the fight to the Lunar Empire. I do recognize that, Sorala. It is tempting, but if the if the dream cannot be bested or survived, then it must be ended. We don't know yet. We will have to see this dream for what it is. Sorala says confidently. Can save, if we can save more lives, sister, by placating this great beast, would that not be better than willfully opposing it just for the sake of not being shackled to its dream? We would live, or all of us would die, burned and half-eaten in our fields. I would rather die free. 
I understand the need to survive, but I would rather die free. If bondage is what it means to be part of this dream. Well, we should see what, what the dream is for. Do you all yeah. have any other questions of Parnvisi? Um, can you... Thank you for your counsel. Can, can you give me, can you give me a hug? Because you're really rat. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I got your old girl. Can you Thank her for her hair? time. <laughs> can we have a sleepover? <laughs> um, I think I would ask. I would ask if it's not if it's not too much uh, to ask. Because um, she's like a minor Earth goddess, right? She's a granddaughter of Ronaldo. I would ask if it was not too much uh, too much to ask if she could give me her blessing. She would be very happy. I mean, she would be very happy to give you her blessing. Um, and um, you all have been so peaceful on this, and and have impressed her so much with your your um, willingness not to behave like humans usually do, ranting and raving about um, the need to kill everything and destroy. Uh, Except for that, and his family, obviously. <laughs> oh, but you aren't ranting and raving about it. But I am. Yeah, you know. there's a, there's a, at least half your group is 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 being very very um, uh, surprisingly uh, uh, pacifistic towards a dragon. Uh, she is. She will give you a. A stick, Yanya. It has oh leaves God. that are growing even in winter. And she says that this, if you show this stick to any elf, it will mark you as an elf friend and give you a uh, safe passage. Rad. So you've got that at least. You've got a stick. I got a stick, guys. Nice. I'm proud <laughs> of you, Yanya. <laughs> So what Very is your nasty. guy? What is your, what is your what is your plan? I think well, we should travel to this tomb and talk to this dragon, see what the dream's about. I agree. Let us find our tomb of our ancestor. Perhaps that will help yeah. recall for the dragon. But something. she's here for Argrath's purpose, Soralia is at least, and we'll learn as much about this dragon as possible. It's about, as she said, it's about 15 miles away, which given that this is, by now, it's uh, early afternoon, probably even late afternoon by the time of this, it's going to be a whole nother day before you can get to uh, Queenstown. Can we rest in the blessed forest and be infused with <sighs> the spirits of the, of the earth? Fine, just this one time. <laughs> yeah. <Will it> last? <laughs> It will placate her for a short time. <laughs> let, let, let her dance with the stick. <laughs> yeah, dancing with a stick. <laughs> and she has the stick. Exactly. I have a stick. I'm elf friend, all right? I'm dancing you with are an elf friend. She, she makes us call her Yanni off elf friend all the time. Elf friend. <laughs> <laughs> Like you guys say Yanioth, you guys say Yanioth of Arena's daughter, and I'm like, no, 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 Yanioth elf friend. <laughs> elf friend, guys. All right. <laughs> you see this stick that I have? Hey, come on. It has leaves in winter. It has so. leaves, and it's winter time. You guys see this? You see leaves. See, Yanioth, you thought that we were so different, and yet there are many similarities between you and I. <laughs> I hope not too many. All right. So the next day, you guys you guys spend a um, uneventful evening, or maybe very eventful from your perspective, um, in the grove of the dryad. You're given the uh, the dryad. Make sure that you all are fed. Uh, that there are that that there is no fire can be given, but that the grove. 
Um, here in the middle of the grove, even in winter, there's no snow on the ground. Um, you all have um, supplies and whatnot. So you all spend um, a relaxing and uneventful evening overnight there. And the next morning, you all are ready to make your way toward the Queen's tomb and head off into the hills. Uh, and the hills east of, of Tarndizi's Grove, this is, there's no villages here. There's no steads. This is an area of, um, populated mainly by herders um, and, and hunters. It's rough, rugged territory. And I, uh, you know, kind of imagine going through through rough hills without good trails um, and out without, you know, a great idea precisely where you're going other than, you know, more or less where the queen's tomb is. So it's slow going. And one of the landmarks near the queen's tomb is a, a pair of stones that um, you call the you all call the plinths. These are two big stones, each about three meters high. Think like a carved menhirs. So big, you know, two big, huge stones that are on the top of a hill, and not far from that is where the queen's tomb is. So you all head over towards towards the plinth, and I'm not even going to require a scan roll on this. You can see hmm. over by the plinths. There are dragon newts. There is um, dragon newts. There's half dozen or so of them. Three of them are riding creatures called that you call demi birds. Would you please will put up the picture called demi bird? Ooh. Now what dragon newts are is. Uh, dragon newts are one of the intelligent species of the uh, of, of Dragon Pass. They are um, very dangerous, is the general opinion that humans humans have of them. Humans try to avoid dealing with them very much. They are uh, have their own civilization, and generally, human interaction with the dragon newts. Uh, according to most of your most of you haven't been a, something that ha, has gone really well for the humans this is an example of the 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 dragon newts riding demi birds so they are dragon newts range from being uh smaller and weaker than humans to far stronger and far more powerful than humans uh pretty much where everybody knows that they have no fear of death and um, they are closely connected with the dragons somehow. Sarala knows more about them. I'll let Jim explain what he wants to say or not. Yeah, I mean, Sorala seeing them will duck back down and, and motion for the others to do the same. Yeah. Dragon newts. How big are they? Like, do I recognize uh, what stage, what kind of dragon newts they are? Okay. Four of them are the small stage, the crested stage. Two of them are the beak stage, like the picture right here. And okay. one of them is a tailed priest. Gotcha. All right. Um, the force that they have there is quite significant. Several of the smaller dragon newts, but a priest. And uh, the brutish ones on the mounts are quite uh, deadly. Mm -hmm. We should be careful. And they're they in seem and to be hunting for something. Yeah, can mm -hmm. we observe them for a minute? See what they're doing? Absolutely. They're, they are... Um, they very clearly seem to be looking for something or someone. Perhaps they hmm. seek the dragon as well. Perhaps so. Perhaps, uh, Perhaps they worship the dragon already. Perhaps they are children 
um, in its dream. If right, if the dragon can dream the future, then maybe they have seen our coming. But they're searching for us. They're searching for us, even though we have not shown ourselves. I do not like this. We can An take enemy them. with foreknowledge. Hmm. Hmm. Possibly. Hmm. They outnumber and us. Have... They definitely outnumber you. And again, let me just give you a game mechanic thing. In general, in RuneQuest, being outnumbered is bad. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, Sorella doesn't particularly... She's not itching for a fight. Is, the, is there a way we can sneak by them? What's the terrain like? It's very hilly. It would be very... It, you think it would be very possible to go wide and go around them. It certainly would when be I, possible. When I fought at the Battle of Penel Ford, we did not flee against superior numbers. This is, is not true. the Battle of Penel Ford, and we do not have a whole clan at our backs, Harmast. Every Plus. battle is different. If mm, we wish to I... speak to the dragon, we should do so soon before it decides to go flying and destroy another setting. Yes, agreed. Well, we're I not have, avoiding uh, a fight here. We are avoiding more death of our clansmen. And while and I do long for battle, I'm just basically like, how do I put cousin. this in a way where you're not like a coward? <laughs> you're just doing the smart move. Yeah, Hamas is sort of yes. like the, the, the logic goes into his brain, and he processes it for a moment. Yes, yes if cousin. we can get to the dragon sooner, that will bring us greater glory. Very well. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> I too itch for battle, but. Discretion well, might be the better part of valor. So we're gonna try and sneak. I yeah, will be like, like my father. Use my smarts. Now, one Use thing is, I, I have a. I'm being a, um, uh, a GM who's wanting to make very much the uh, uh, ask some painfully obvious questions. Uh huh. Did you bring a bison? And did you bring a zebra? Along, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what these guys did. <laughs> I wrote my whole herd. <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 always, I'm always riding, riding uh, Tonk. Yeah, if we had gotten to a point where it seemed like it was a reasonable place to dismount and leave them in the woods, I imagine Harmast is, is is used to doing that. He can't actually ride them into combat, so um, he's used to tying them off to trees and the like. I, I, all I'm saying is, is that if you want to try to have take a bison i mean you you could certainly circumnavigate these hills but it's going to be a long way around uh a zebra a bison is probably easier to hide than a zebra i will leave zebra my zebras, zebras my zebras behind zebra, it, it's great dishonor uh, it will bring to me but fine they can stay so I just want to kind of get an idea. I would assume that you would have to dismount and at least lead the bison. Yes, yes. Uh, Vasada will dismount mount and lead her bison, but she will not leave it from battle. It, uh, it's been too long since they've shed blood together, and if there is a chance, she wants it there with her. Armast, you going to leave your zebra? Or are you going to... Um, I'll, leave, I'll leave him behind. And okay. uh, just kind of leave them some food. Stay here. Fear not. <laughs> we will bring. <laughs> you like talk some other real people. We will bring great honor to the Kolima tribe, as my father okay. wishes. I have a quick question. Um, I have a spell called the Fuddle. Can I use it on these creatures so that we can sneak by and they can't? Do anything about it yes and the okay. ones the ones that seem to be looking for stuff are the little runty crested dragon dudes the, okay, the so more powerful them, ones are reason? staying on the top of the hill okay um so how many of them are there there are five of the runty ones but they're not all in the same direction there's maybe at any time, there's only one or two that you would have to get past. Okay. Um, and you said that the the big ones are like on a hill. Yes, they're on the hill where the plinth is. 
Um, I think that I would keep I would keep an eye like a an eye on those ones to see like make sure they're not like looking in our direction because if they're on a hill then they've got like a better sight line. But um, for the little for the little ones, I'll probably like wait until like if we have to pass close by and then befuddle them because I only have to spend the the two points, right? Right. Um, okay. So yeah, that's that's what I'll that's what I'll have done. Like if we get close to one. I'll befuddle it so we can pass quickly by, um, and uh, just keep an up an eye on the ones that are up, up higher, to see if their gaze seems to turn in our direction or if they look like they're like gonna come at us. And and just as a comparison of uh, spirit magic, I believe Vasana, you have demoralized. Yes. Um, that the, the, the big difference between that is demoralize will cause them to run in fear, uh, which is probably not as useful to you guys as them just kind of sitting around being confused for a while. Yeah, I think if we're trying to be uh, stealthy, that befuddle is probably better. Okay. Agreed, sister. With the earth, um, the earth will hide us from their eyes. I will make sure of it. We will blend into the grass and the trees and the rocks. They will not see it. Make sure they don't hear Tatanka. She is loud. <laughs> Tatanka oh, and this is, is this... more likely this, to this... wander the fields than we are, sister. This was what I was going to kind of point out about the whole uh, I sneak bit is that trying you guys travel with a bison is not going to make you get crazy. Uh, well, that's why I'm going to use magic. <laughs> and you're going to need... Magic bison. So, um, as They're you guys like, go around... What's a around... bison doing here? And I'm going to be like, yeah, what is a bison doing here? <laughs> and, uh, another actually, bison actually... you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, uh, uh, Jeff, could I use mobility to move the bison a little quicker? Or does that matter? Oh, no, no, no. It'll, gonna... it'll get you by a lot faster. And then I'm going to do that. Uh, coupling that with with the the befuddling magic of my half sister, I'll I'll, I'll cast uh, mobility, um, double that speed. Okay. Would you okay. knock off a magic point? Will do. Yeah. Let me know I'm how many how many how many of the creatures do you think we would encounter on our way through? Because I need to know how many points to spend, or is it just two points for all of them? Two points for each one. Did yeah. So how point? many? Yeah, so let me know. Uh, there like... are three that are on your area Side. of the hill. Okay, I'll spend I'll spend six points. Okay. Just spending magic everywhere. Just, just so many magic. Do I get the ones back that I used yesterday? Yes. Okay. That's the one good thing about magic points is you just spend them a lot, but they come back. Although I always find that they, they never seem to come back when you really need them. <laughs> Great foreshadowing you just <laughs> did there. Mm. Um, <laughs> what is okay, your cool. power, Yanya? Uh, my power is 15. Okay. Overcoming the magic points of these creatures is not very hard to do. But I would still like you to roll three percentile. Okay, you have one for a eighty-five percent chance of okay. overcoming their um, magic resistance each time you cast a spell. Okay. Boom. That's a, that's good. Hey, that's good. Mm-hmm. That's okay. That's good. <laughs> yep. <laughs> And that's okay. We did it. Hold it there we go. All right. So you cast the spell three times to um, uh, confuse and cloud the, the the judgment of of those the crested dragonites that were looking for you, which means mm-hmm. you're able to circumvent the dragonites, the whole band of dragonites entirely, and make your way to the queen's tomb without having had a fight. And I would like to point out players. 
I'm very impressed. No fighting so far at all. We told us well, it was pretty told deadly. Us how so. dangerous it was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not stupid. I listened to my GM, okay? Uh -huh. Yeah, we, we gotta screw up. This is the premiere. <laughs> you know, we can't know yet. <laughs> we gotta make so it to I, the I'm end. I'm gonna give we you die. a dis the Queen's Tomb is on a, the top of a hill. It is a big stone um, mound of, or big mound of, of stone and earth, some 15 meters tall and 15, 50 meters in diameter. So um, this is basically a gigantic burial mound with, uh, and at one end, there is uh, an opening into the mound and on top of it is a balcony with uh, the statues, with statues on top of it. And there are 10 huge statues uh, above the entrance. All of their heads have been knocked off and are uh, littered around near the entrance uh, of, of the tomb. And the, the tomb entrance, and you can you, you can walk right up to it, is maybe about uh, three meters high and three meters wide with um, that that uh, looks like it's just been carved right into the uh, stone of the earth below and then all of this earth and rock piled on top of it. And then they carved these big statues. Uh, and when I say statue, they're big. They're, each statue was about uh, three or four meters high sitting down like on thrones but all the heads have been torn off the uh the statues and you have these heads you know almost a meter high uh looking at you guys um in front of the entrance now does this look like something that happened like recently or like eons ago like the heads being knocked off is it fresh uh it is not fresh okay it's it's this whole area that was considered has always been considered um, haunted by the local herders. You know about this place, but this place is just a, a a place that the local herders consider to be a bad place. So I I think Sarala would like to inspect the statues just to get a feel for what's going on. Um, she has several lore skills that may be uh, related here. Um, I don't know if this is anything to do with the the Empire of the Worms friends. Um, Certainly then. would be appropriate. Okay, so that's 35. I'd like to use Logician to boost that if I can. You absolutely can. All and right. Are you trying to cast this fast or are you willing to use plenty of time? I'm willing to use time if we have it. Uh, if we've got some time to just sit down and study the runes and use her magic to, to see what sort of... Uh, she can glean from there, uh, from the statues and everything. Yes, uh, Vasana will keep lookout to make sure that uh, we're not followed by the uh, dragon newts. But mm -hmm. take your time. Yes, she'll take her time. Okay. In that case, I'm going to say that uh, it's okay with you. You can spend about an hour preparing magical rituals and such for it so that you don't have to roll a whole lot of dice okay. um because one of the things that with sorcery if you spend enough time you're going to succeed casting the spell um yeah. you know it's a terrible thing to do in a crisis situation but you you have the time for every magic point that you spend er, sorry every two magic points you spend on the spell you can increase your lore by the 10 and so it's base 30 i'd like to uh or base 35 i'd like to add um let's see i'd like to add 20 to it so all, that'll be what four magic points four magic points. all right that'll bring it up to 55 and all right here we go Ooh, no dice no dice uh, this is what I can tell you of it. You you can't really make any identification, but it looks like of the ten statues, five are of gods or heroes or kings, and five are of goddesses or 
queens or heroines. You you have no clue on the identification. Um, okay. But they're they 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 certainly were important people. Mm-hmm. Um, while this was like this was a whole hour. Um, while um Sarala was casting her magic, uh, can I have been like just not magically, but just like walking around and looking at them and seeing if, if there's any signs of the dragon or things that I recognize on the statues or certainly certainly how about the rest of you do, do we want to do are all of you guys doing this or it, it, and we if so we can work. yeah 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 you guys got an yeah. hour yeah i was i was specifically keeping lookout for anybody or anything not necessarily looking okay. for signs of the dragon okay how about you harmas Yep, uh, I'll join Yanni off and see if there are any like claw marks around or bones or anything that like that looks like maybe a dragon's been in here. Okay, I would like you guys both to make a search roll, but you're spending so much time. That's another yeah. perception roll. Then add thirty percent to your search. Okay. Okay, I'm looking for under sixty-five, and that is not enough. Nope. Hey, I'm great. Nice. I'm grand. <laughs> I'm so damn perceptive. I don't see I any am... dragons around here at all. Mm. You see no dragon at all, Harmas. Uh, Yenia, you do notice that mo- that all of the plants in this area look like they've been poisoned. Up, uh, yeah. They're all yeah. dead. Mm-hmm. Um, that you know what little there is, is especially the nearer you go to the tomb. Um, the more signs of that that you get. Grand. Um, is there any like uh, noticeable like familiar markings anywhere, or would that be a, another a different role? Or what do you mean by familiar uh, marking? You said that there was statuary, and this is like a tomb. Like, is there anything that I recognize on the statues or on the tomb? Like symbols or like. I don't know. Do they have plaques that have names on them? Or, I um, I would let's 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 go against your cult lore to see whether there's any okay. sort of, and that's a, uh, a knowledge skill. Okay, so just cult lore or Nalda? Yeah, because I don't think I have a different cult lore or homeland. No, cult lore or Nalda? Okay, or Nalda. Um. Okay, this is not okay. um, this sort of, of to... highly um, academic stuff. I don't think really is Yanias. Yeah, it's forte, not my but... deal. It's not my deal. Okay, that's fine. I'll try it. I'll try it. We'll just go for it. The dice either be with or against me. They were against me. No. And Vasana, you are keeping an eye out to see if you see anything, right? Uh, yeah, just making sure no one sneaks up on us while everybody's searching and doing rituals and stuff. Okay. Okay. Um, I will ask, would you also make a scan roll, Asana? Scan? Oh, okay. Is... I'm at scan. 50%. Um, if I find a nice high uh, spot to look from the back of my bison, would I get any bonus from that? Absolutely. Yeah, but you're really painfully odd that's fine. I'll give you a plus 20 for putting it on top of the bison. And, and looking very obvious. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it has not been my night. No. No. I'm sitting here like wondering things <laughs> going over the arguments that uh, that uh, that Yanioth has gone over and like, oh, why is she so she, <laughs> she's taking my valor away from me. <laughs> not no, really I'm just paying about attention. life and shit, all right? Well, guys, could I ask for a few minutes? Uh, what I could uh, very quickly go to We're losing you just a touch, Jeff. Yeah, what we're losing. Le- You're leaning I can't too far away quite from the mic. Sorry, could we have a two minute pause? Absolutely. Oh, great. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Sure. Sure. No worries. 
Let us cut back to the screen. Uh, while our esteemed Dungeon Master prepares uh, to TPKS, uh, I'm sure she's about to Fun times. Uh, yeah, I'll remind you guys that stick around. We've got about 30 minutes left on the, uh, the clock, and then we'll be giving away those five RuneQuest uh, core rule PDFs. Um, and the giveaway is still going for uh, the RuneQuest uh, hardback copy in PDF, which I think finishes on June 8th. Uh, so you've got just a little over a week or so there to win that, and that should be in the uh, video description as well, for those watching back on the, uh, the YouTubes and all that good stuff. Um, but how are you guys finding RuneQuest so far? I mean, this is my first experience playing it, but I'm having a blast right now. I Man, I love the setting. It's really great. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's what's caught me the most. Uh, I'm curious about combat, but... I'm scared. I <laughs> I, yeah, he was like, really... <laughs> really clear about how deadly it is so i'm just like all right yeah all right it's deadly i got i got it uh i'm scared um but yeah we'll we'll see how that goes yeah well you played a bit of call of cthulhu similar yeah, rules apply I think. yeah it's it's very familiar uh in that regard uh i i i'm interested to see i mean the magic system from what i've read doesn't seem too terribly complicated a lot of a lot of you know head-to-head -head roles for certain things um but uh, I'm, I'm interested to uh to get into the nuts and bolts of uh combat if it if it were to happen upon us absolutely all right well, well uh, i'm just happy like... there you go i i <laughs> I've got to say, I'm just amused by all of you guys. You guys are doing. Uh, <laughs> it, it, at least you're keeping your GM nice and entertaining, which is which is good, <laughs> given that it's 4:38 in the morning for me. Um, <laughs> Yikes! So, uh, are we ready to move forward? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Um, okay. Yeah, so, at, at the end of Sarala's uh, magic hour of magic. Um, I would come up to her and share what I noticed about the uh, the plants being dead and how its similarities to the wounds on the woman and what we knew of the dragon's breath. So I'm just like letting you know mm -hmm. about we always know. what uh, my yeah, response so has turned up. Of course, I noticed that. Point, but, uh... <laughs> at some point, Sorala will take Vasana aside, like maybe when the two of them are alone in that hour. Or something. It okay. just, Vasana, I do not think it's wise to fight this dragon. It's incredibly powerful, and Argrath could use it, at least the knowledge it could give us, to crush the Lunars. I uh, with the Kalimar, yes. Well, yes, I, more than most, have reason to lay low the Lunars. I have a blood debt to pay for my father, after all. But I must also protect our tribe. And it has already attacked once. I Perhaps sincerely to hope recognize. Not. Yes, Jeez. I understand. I understand the benefit in that. But how plausible is it? We should try. We should try before seeking to destroy it, because it could very well just not recognize the Kolimar as its co-inhabitants of the land. Who knows how long it's been asleep, only now recently awakened after the true dragon came through here not a year ago. We should oh, talk yes. to it first. Like I said, I am open to this, but should diplomacy fail, I will have sword in hand. Hmm. Perhaps Harmast will be best with the diplomacy then. But I will do what I can. I know you will. You always have. Uh, right, guys. Uh, yeah. You guys have a plan. Yes. There's only one entrance to this place? Yep. Hmm. Let's go in and find this dragon, speak with it, or kill it if it's not willing to talk. <sighs> Always your plan, Harmast. What can I say? I am my father's son. Uh, we there should, are uh... stairs. There are stairs that descend down into the darkness of the town. Visana. 
Yes, Keep sister. ready your spirit of air, just in case we need protection against its poison. I will. I will have it at hand. And I assume uh, I won't be able to take my bison down here. <laughs> be able to take the bison into the tomb. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I will. Uh, I will uh, tie up uh, Tatanka uh, in a in a hidden away place and lay out some some rations for her. Tell her I'll be back soon and uh, ready the bag of air, the wind bag, the oxide bag. Okay. Um, so I have a quick question about sorcery. Is there a, uh, like, boosting it so that I can successfully cast it? Like, how long would it take to cast the Solace of the Logical Mind? And how long would that last if I cast it? All right. It, again, with everything with sorcery depends on how many magic points you want to spend mm -hmm. uh, in terms of how long it lasts. So, if you wish it to last, uh, let's say, if you wanted it to last, say, three hours, approximately, mm -hmm. that would be 12 magic points. I've got nine. So good. <laughs> I'd, I'd be willing to so you might want it to strike a deal here. Yeah, I have, I have a feeling that she's that she might need them all if she's going to enter the dream of a dragon to protect her mind. If you want it to last, if you would like it to last uh, forty minutes, that would be eight magic points. Eight magic points. I think maybe as we get in and sort of get the layout for the tomb, I don't want to cast it too early. I mean, it's only 50 meters in diameter. Oh, really? The mound is. Ah. And I better cast it now, then. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> also, so this, so, so this is not a mega dungeon? Okay. It's right. not a mega dungeon. Don't, <laughs> okay. don't worry. Don't. Um, <laughs> yeah, she'll cast it uh, now with, uh, with using eight magic points. Okay. Are you going to try anything to augment your chance other than time? Um, she's going to draw upon the rune of truth because okay. she is protecting her mind so that she can plumb the depths of cosmic knowledge and emerge without uh, scars after that journey. Okay, okay. Uh, would you please roll against your truth rune? All right, that's ninety-five percent. So, watch me. And with you guys, I know you guys hey, can miss one. Twenty-one. No, it's, all, it's only me hey. that's going to fail. Add twenty to your chance of casting the spell. All right, that boosts it to thirty-five percent. Is there anything yep. else I can do to boost it? Uh, you could persuade the party to let you sit here and you know provide a long, uh, perform a long ritual. Uh, that would be preferable. Mm -hmm. Are you guys way. okay? <laughs> We're like, I've spent an hour here with Sarala there. <laughs> I'm itching to get inside, Sarala. I... Snake a ritual, Sarala. All right, how, how much boost would that give me? Uh, how much time do you want to spend? A half hour? An hour? Oh, I don't know. That's a long time. An hour's a long I, time. How much does a half hour give me? Could I sing so that an hour seems like half an hour? <laughs> <laughs> or vice versa? Please montage I mean. it. <laughs> yeah, we want to uh, if you, I could get it's, about 50, it's your guys' great. call how long you want to let uh, Sarala spend. A half hour will give you a plus thirty percent um, to your chance I think of casting. A half hour spend. is fine. Yeah, yeah, half hour. That gives it to sixty-five. Okay. Yeah, yeah eighty-nine. Nope. Nothing. I know it. I'm not gonna get to do it. Can't <laughs> <laughs> you guys, it's a tough spell. <laughs> It's, 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 you know, it's a tough spell there. Now, the good thing is you didn't need to spend any magic. Okay, so I still have magic failed. points. All right. Yep. How long? Oh, okay. Maybe I'll try again later. All, All right. right. You guys can go in? Yes. Let's do this. Okay. There he is. The entrance passage leads down a series of steps into a, um, uh, an anti a barren antechamber uh, carved into the stone. There are spiraling air rooms, man rooms with a horned headdress, 
and uh, lightning coming out of it. Snakes and other human figures have all been painted on the walls with red ochre. So I'm going to give you this sort of thing. Oh, right? I got you. Okay. So, yeah. So there's a lot of things that have been painted on here and then the, the, uh, in this barren chamber and it goes forward further into the darkness into uh, and continues. But now I have to ask the question, how are you seeing in the darkness? I, I don't mind carrying a torch. I got. I can do a okay. shield and a torch. Okay. Yeah, if they, and if they have torches, uh, I'll just have my sword and shield out ready. Okay. How about you, Harmast? Oh, if they're carrying torches, I can sword and board. My eyes are keen. Like my oh, so you're just. <laughs> um, can I just like I have uh, an association with the darkness rune? Can I just be like, it's fine. You can certainly out. find your way around in the darkness. You might not be able to see things very well, but yeah, I you can certainly find dark. your way around. It's fine. I'm finding my way with the one torch we've got. We have a torch. Okay. So you guys go in and and go into the next chamber that's illuminated solely by a single torch. And in mm. this chamber, this chamber has four passages. Uh, one that you just came out of, one to the left, one to the right, and one straight ahead. Uh, the one uh, straight ahead has um, uh, what's called a trilithon. It's it's the the doorway is basically three big slabs of stone. One here, one here, and one one here. On the walls around this chamber, you can see that there have been niches carved into the the walls um dozens scores maybe maybe more of that of little niches most of which have a cremation urn inside it and this is what you put um your dead in is you normally burn your dead and you put them into into an urn mm -hmm. and so there are Dozens, maybe scores of these cremation urns uh, placed around uh, on the walls of this chamber. Mm -hmm. I mean, we knew that this place was a tomb. Mm -hmm. Have Are any there been any marks? Broken? Could you guys make a listen roll? Yeah. Uh, listen. Try. Don't hear anything. Um, can I uh, can I uh, get a, a buff for assistance or whatever the term is? Because like I, it's mostly darkness, so my hearing is. Um, sure. Like, Roll against your darkness yeah. room. Okay, let's do it. Let's see how. It Did goes. everybody else fail? Yes. Oh, I failed. I got a six. I failed. I well. meet my darkness room. Barely a success. I have forty. Okay, add 20 to your listen. Okay, uh, what's listen again? Got it. So my listen is now at 50. Wow. Hmm. What did you roll? If only it were backwards. <laughs> I got a 99. <laughs> You've got no clue. No clue at all, no. Gania. I can't hear anything. All right, guys. I be going deaf. I don't know. You no clue at all. Mm -hmm. Where are you guys heading? Okay. Forward? Is there to any... the left or to the... So is one hall that, bigger than like... the other? Well, there's a main passage straight ahead, but there are side passages to the left and the right. Are there any markings like of that, like, um, poison um, on any of the doors? That poison that we've noticed from the, the the plants on the ground and the. I would let you guys make a search roll, attempt to, to really carefully look around. 
Yeah, so maybe I'm just like the beast breathes poison and and tracks it everywhere it goes. If we can see a sign of its of its breath, then perhaps we'll know which direction it goes in. Good idea. A search roll. Yeah. Yes, search roll some kind. I'm just gonna go straight for it because every time I try and like buff, I just fail. That's yeah. a fail. Ah. Well, hey. There you I go. Am. Are you the only one who made it? My search is thirty. Yeah, I think Did so. anybody else make it? No, I haven't tried Anyone yet because I keep. Roll? It's like, why should I keep? I failed. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna search, even though. Well, you know what? Whatever. I yeah. mean, I succeeded, so we'll be okay. Nope, failed again. I succeeded. I'm the only one. <laughs> See anything? Okay. Obviously, um, I've not yes. recovered from the Battle of uh, Moon Moon Broth. Clearly, Ooh. you have not. Clearly, you have not. <laughs> um. You all, uh, Yanioth, you, you see signs of... Uh, here's the thing. I don't see it. I don't hear it. I smell it. You smell it. There is a, <laughs> yeah. there, there is a, um, a foul sulfur, sulfurous stench coming from, um, further, directly ahead. All right. Um, I, I like, uh, walk a little bit of ways because, um, Sorale, you're the one carrying the torch. I feel like I yep. walk a little bit of ways from the torch and like, I like sniff the air a little bit. And then I say it's, it's, it's straight ahead. I can smell the beast and it's foul breath. Mm. It is always the smell. Is it not? I just find it. All right, so you guys gonna go forward? Yeah. Yeah. Ever on just, just to be mean, who's in the front? Masana oh, yeah. would be in front. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Me. No. Who's carrying the torch? No, nah, I'm. I, I think. I think actually, Sorella should be in the back because I don't spoil people's vision with her to torch out in front of them. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So me and Sorella are behind Harmast and Vasana, two by two. Okay. Yeah. So you guys go further into the dark, uh, uh, further in and into a chamber, uh, circular, uh, more or less circular chamber that has been hewed out of solid. It has been colorfully painted with murals uh, depicting gods and goddesses. Um, and in the center of the room is a rec angular cuboid about one meter wide one meter deep and two meters long on top of this this stone cu uh, uh, slab is a green stone statue of a goddess wearing a skirt made out of strips of lapis puzzle she has anklets bracelets and a, 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 like a pectoral cape made out of copper the goddess is the the statue of the goddess is reclining as it is sleeping. Wound around the base of this stand is all 15 meters of that purple dragon. Oh, it's geez, wrapped so it's completely just... around the base there. Uh, I'm going to let you guys decide what you want to do. But decide quickly. Um... So we are supposed to. It's it's wrapped around the the statue, and we're supposed around to like, the base of the statue. And it looks like it's it's not like awake. It's like resting or whatever. Resting. It. it yes. Okay. Uh, and our our advice was either to join it in its dream or destroy its dream. Um. Is yeah. there any? Is there any way that I can like? I mean, I don't want to just like try and go to sleep right here or whatever. That's a horrible idea. But like, try and um... up next to it. <laughs> I have a like, I have a really high beast score. I want to try and like get on the level with this creature. Like, maybe just like study it and see if I can like match my breath to its breath and just like you know maybe close my eyes behind my sister and just kind of I don't know. Yeah, I I think is there a way to sort of like sense its mind somehow if it's this powerful? 
Like, does it leave an impact on on the rest of us somehow? Um, it it might. I mean, what she was talking about using the beast rune to try to yeah. sink into it, that would certainly be something that could be done. Um, yeah, I just want to, like, You do might a little, be like, able to... I, yeah, I mean, whatever sounds right to you guys, um, I'm certainly willing to let you try. Have I lost... Have we lost... Sorale, uh, Sor Sor you... Damn. You froze hey. for a moment. Yeah. Something happened. Are you okay now? I think so. I can't really see oh, V-Mix. dragons aren't beasts. Aww. But uh, I can hear you. I can hear so, you all at least. Yeah, I think we're. Uh, I think everyone looks good to me. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. Sister, What's your guys' plan? Whatever you do, you must do it quickly. Yeah, Sorrel is going to attempt to. She's going to lay the torch down, and she is going to attempt to uh, to, to channel. Can, you can't channel two runes at once to an assist, can you? Like. Like I can't do fire and truth to sort of like clarify my mind for to touch to sort of like reach out to it. I would allow you to try that. That I mean, okay. I would also let you try to use that to um, uh, give you a boost to your meditate to see if you can maybe try to reach its dream state that way. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. So I have a 35 base for meditate. Um, and then what kind of boost would I get from that? Okay, well, try against your truth rune. That's my truth rune, which is 95. Five, all right, where were you a minute ago? Five. Wow. Um, nice. So that was against my truth rune. And then do I need to roll against my fire rune as well? Nope, just your truth rune. So what did just you roll? Okay. I rolled a five. A five. Of, oh, against, oh, of 95. okay. Add a big bonus to your meditate. Nice. Would you add 50% to your meditate? All right, so that boosts my meditate to 85. All right, 64 um, for my meditate. Can I have been trying to do like, like um, Harmast and, and Vasana are standing in in front of both of us. Can I have been trying to do a similar thing? Um, yes, I'm, I'm gonna have you roll next. Okay. I'm assuming it's the same time. what you get yeah. there, Sorala? It was a 64 out of 85. Yeah, I got 64 of 85. From okay, Yania, same thing. But I, 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 what I understood you're trying to do is you're trying to use your beast rune to kind of get, um, instead of meditating, but to get in its same plane, or? Uh, yeah, I was, um, I was wanting to, like, uh, use uh, the beast rune um, to kind of, like, sync myself with its rhythms and it's like the beast rune is about like passion and stuff and this creature is about like dreams and 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 passion so i thought maybe that could get me on i'll i'll buy that wavelength okay so i'll roll against my beast rune first and we're good um because my beast rune is uh 85 and i got a 25 um okay you um Yanioth, you think you kind of are, are in the right mental state for it, but Sorala, you definitely feel like um, through your meditation that you're 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 at least on the right same level as this dream. Vasana and Harmas, you all might be a little bit more worried because the dragon is beginning to move around the um, the base of the statue. It's it's moving while Yanioth and Sarala are trying to touch its um, uh, mental state. Are you going to act or are you going to wait? Uh, Asana is looking over at her cousin. Both are creatures of action, but uh, we should give them a moment to succeed, I suppose. Very well. Now, is there time but, to do a sorcery before, like, while this is going on? I would on let well? you. Okay. Um, then I'm going to attempt to do another. You can't use, you can't add a lot of time, though, with it. No, no. Uh, do I still have the bonus from the truth, you, invoking the truth rune earlier? Yeah, so I'll, I'll give that to you because okay, it's, so it's five o'clock in the morning my time, so gotcha. I'm going to be very generous on bonuses. Big 35%. <laughs> Here we go. 
can see. Hey, oh no, 44. I thought nope. that was a 14 for a second. Nope. Oh. I, I go in unprotected to the dragon's dream. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right. The, the, the huge serpent shape. <laughs> the huge serpent shape is starts um, uh, tightening up around the statue. And Vasan and Harmaster are not going to act? Ugh. I'm not saying you should. I just want a definitive. You guys are giving them time. I'm giving them time because I said that I, I would. Time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> there is purple mist begins to appear around the dragon. Um, and its shape begins to change. What are you doing there? What was that? I'm. If I see a purple mist, I might bring the bag out and start to uh, get ready to summon this air elemental. Okay. Okay. Um, the shape of the dragon changes. And the dragon transforms itself into the appearance of a female, a human female, or at least more or less human female. Um, she is, would you pull up the picture, Will, that is yeah. called Yerizum Storm? Ooh. Or, or, or Queen's Tomb. Either one would be just fine. Okay. Let's go. So, it is a, um, let me just get a quick description here. It is a uh, woman wearing a dark purple skirt and wearing a crown with five serpents on it. And um, uh, she uh, is clearly aware now of you all mm -hmm. and walks towards you. Is anybody going to do anything? Uh, I think I, like, drop the, like, I stop trying to, uh, be on the mental level of a beast, and instead I, like, probably, it wants us to worship it, so I probably, like, like, bow deeply to this creature, person, thing. I was thinking the yeah. same, yeah, some kind of gesture of fealty. Yeah, yeah, something like that. And prostrate yourself before... To prostrate, uh, Sir Laurel, prostrate herself before. Okay. Um, she uh, says in a very archaic version of your language, uh, she says, um, I was your goddess once, and I am your goddess to be. And she seems quite, quite happy with um, uh, having you all, uh, having people here, bowing down to her. Um and 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 prostra uh, prostrating themselves. Uh, she is not attacking. I will give um, her nine magic points. You give her all your magic points. Oh boy, the place. <laughs> is anybody else gonna essence. offer magic points? It just comes to Sorrel. I don't know how he got into her head that she should yeah. do that. Take um, I think I'm that I um, I. I'm like bowing deeply to this woman and she says like I am your I was your goddess once and I am your goddess to be and um I say to her uh you have shown us already the great might of your breath um now we would only ask that you show us the might of your mercy we did not uh our people do not have as long a memory of you as you and did not remember um, that we were to worship you, but we know now. Um, we would ask that you please do us no more harm, um, and we will worship you again. And I'm just like bow deeply, and I'd I'd offer up some some magic points too, sure. Um, four. Sana Harmas. Yeah. Uh, the Sa the Sana gives a gives a nod of deference. <laughs> And and no magic points. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
Harmas is a deal maker. Yeah, he'll uh, he'll offer up six magic points. Oh, wow. Uh, hey, it's a fucking she, dragon, all right. Right. <laughs> she accepts your the the offering, um, and and um, she's disappointed that you did not bring her food and gifts, but she accepts oh, I your have gifts. offering. I have so many gifts. <laughs> okay, what do you offer her? I have uh, a thousand, I have the favor I received whoa, from Queen whoa. Samasina and uh, and I have uh, just a bunch of jewel, jewels. Yeah. So you, like give her, she, you, you give her what? I, I give her jewels. <laughs> and I say I hope that these humble offerings um, will not, uh, although they pale beside your beauty, I hope that they will suffice. She's very she she's very pleased she 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 um uh, uh is saddened that your people did not um uh uh had forgotten her but she oh, yeah. says that clearly that you remember her um and that that she is saddened that she had to make a reminder uh that she is a being uh worthy of worship uh, we are young, and our our uh, our culture, uh, sadly, um, does not, like I said, have as long a memory as as you. Um, we apologize. Uh, please, please leave our uh, people and their farms and their their towns in peace, so that more people can make offerings to you than just us lowly four. My father has great wealth. She's she is the the, the Yerism Storm. You are you are speaking what she wants to hear. Right, yeah, um, yeah. She, in right, fact, right. she's so pleased. She she's uh, says to Yaniath and Sarala that that uh, you are to be her first uh, priests, and she asks only that you arrange that she is. Um, she has offered um, uh, every week. She has offered food and worship. Is that common, like compared to what I'm used to with um, Arnalda? Is a weekly offering like? It's a weekly every? offer. Well, Im important, go really important gods get worshipped every week. Unimportant okay. minor spirits and such rarely get offered. Like Tarndizi might get an offering once a year. So people. she's like basically put me on the same level of Ornalda and what's his butt the storm guy. Yes. She yeah, wants to Orlando. be the local goddess here. Uh -huh. But we are a polytheistic people, right? Oh yes. Very polytheistic. Okay. Yeah. Then I say, um I look over at Sarala and I'm like I, uh, Sorrel is kind of, she's paying attention a bit to what Yanioth's doing and, and what uh, Yerism Storm, and I wish knowledge. Long ago, the people that lived here could speak with dragons and commune with them, and they lost that. That is what I wish to regain. She will teach you how to speak uh, with her tongue. She will teach you, she, she is willing to teach you that in exchange for worship. She is willing to teach you um, uh, how to how to speak with the dragons. And says your people once knew this. Can I like... Uh, your people once knew how to do this. Mm -hmm. Um. I want to, like, I'm very dedicated to Arnalda, and the idea of being someone else's priestess is just like, ah, uh, uh, can I try and convince uh, the dragon that Sarala is a much more suitable priestess and to split Actually, power? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> split power amongst the priesthood would uh, only diminish her rank and glory. Like, but I should, I. I give it to Sarala to be your high priestess and that there should be no vying for that power. 
this uh, all great goddesses only have one uh, high priestess, and can you please like? I would be. I would not be as befitting your be your great worship as Sarala. I want to just like be like I don't want to be a priestess, but in a really nice <laughs> way. <laughs> I want to worship you, but just not I'm that flattered. much. I'll worship you. Yeah, I'll worship you. Other gods but right I'm now. Fitting priestess. I'm kind of seeing someone else. <laughs> I'm already. I'm priestess over here with this other person. I don't. I, I don't mention. I don't mention Arnalda. But I want to try and convince the dragon that splitting power and having two high priestesses is not a great idea. Sarala, it would is epically suited in her quest for knowledge, um, and I would not be a priestess befitting such a grand goddess. Yeah, I don't you, see any, any conflict of interest between uh, what is it, uh, Lankor Mai, the the cult. It, like there doesn't seem to be a conflict of interest there. Sarala's like, in I'll, fact, I'll be your initiate. To be honest, Sarala, this dragon is offering this dragon is offering to teach you how to speak with the dragons and yeah. its lore. Everything, yeah, this is exactly what Sarala is all about. So yeah, yeah she'll be so a high I'm priest. Like, initiate me yeah, into your I'm mysteries, like, of course, the great dragon. Yeah, of course, of course, I'll worship you. But Sarala is a much more fitting high priestess. I could not, I am not suited. I just, I don't want to, I don't want to be her high priestess. I'm, I want to be. Uh, um, or all those high priestess. I don't want to be this dragon lady. So. Well, the dragon will certainly accept your abdication. And okay. Okay. The wall of being recognized as its 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 priestess. Oh um, yeah. This was an unusual. Uh, at this point, you know, you've <laughs> solved the issue of the dragon. Uh, <laughs> you certainly solved it. That the, the, the ramifications for your community. The That's my question. <laughs> I mean, yeah, our uh, if we were to continue to this, of course, now you have to sell your tribe on the idea that every week from now on, you have to give um, uh, food and worship to a dragon. And the or only thing you. that... Like, that seems what? a good deal. I mean, that's <laughs> a pretty good deal. Or it kills you. <laughs> or it kills you. Or it kills you. Um, <laughs> Uh, this certainly would be the start for a a, a lot of complications uh, going oh, down yeah. the future. <laughs> um, it Don't can't please. give you guys any magic, okay. um, but on the other hand, you would have a dream dragon that is very friendly towards your community. Um, well, that's what our well, great white bull wants. So, and yep, you and go. you would, yes. <laughs> uh, you 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 would certainly manage to impress Argreth White Bull uh, by doing this. That um, I have to admit, this is not how I expected it to wrap up, but I'm very happy that it did. I uh, <laughs> and um, you know normally what we would do at this point is we would give out what the, the ramifications of it are, but it is. You, you guys have to forgive me. It is now after five in the morning, oh, my time. Oh, no, it's totally fine. I think that yeah. we yeah. know that there are some intense ramifications for trying to convince I, everybody to worship this dragon. Yes. Uh, I, I think at this point you can you can, you can can wander off being kind of disgusted with the ability of the rest of your family to just uh, sell themselves out to the dragon. Hmm. Hey, I didn't sell but, me out. I uh, sold Sarala out, all right? <laughs> so she went willingly. There was no. There, she she <laughs> sold herself. Yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah, I'll wants. totally worship you, dragon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyways, yep. I want to thank you guys for for this. This is as good of a place to wrap up as any. Uh, we Absolutely. didn't have any combat, but on the other hand, we went all the way through this and and did a lot of magic and a lot of weird rituals and played around with. Uh, uh, used a lot of augments and interesting ways to solve obstacles. So I hope you guys can enjoy yourselves. You literally told us that fighting would be our the death of us. <laughs> so the death I us. avoided it with everything I had. <laughs> oh my God, I mean, yeah. yes. Just to let you guys know, yes, you could have fought the dragon. It would have been uh, it would have been a tough fight. Mm. It's it's doable. But on the other hand, it would have taken us a, past a, a five no, in, in the morning. <laughs> yes, at five in the And I have to say, as your as your game master, thank you for having mercy. Uh, yes. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys. Amazing. I enjoyed well, myself. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you so much. Fun. For any a great game. The, indeed, the sun is coming up now, and that 
uh, <laughs> signals the end of our role-playing session tonight, the uh, official Twitch premiere of RuneQuest. Thank you guys in the chat for joining us. It means such a great audience tonight. Awesome. Um, and for those watching back on YouTube as well, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, the, we'll get the giveaways now, in fact, for the five PDFs of RuneQuest, in case you guys want to role-play and journey into Gloran for yourself um, and have some fun with your friends. So I'll get these out here in a second. Um, also, there is the ongoing giveaway that will be in the link of the YouTube video as well uh, for the hardback copy of RuneQuest ships internationally. Um, before we do the uh, giveaways, um, let's go around to cast and crew. Did we enjoy ourselves? Where can we find you guys online? Um, so let's go to our Steam Games Master, first of all. Uh, Jeff, amazing job tonight. Um, where can we find out more of uh, RuneQuest in the future? Well, um, if you guys go to the Chaosium page, there is a sign-up for the uh, RuneQuest uh, release announcement. And if you sign up on that, uh, then the moment the PDF goes live, which I, I will give this much away, it will be in a matter of days, uh, then you guys will get notice on that. And um, if you buy the PDF, you get a coupon that uh, deducts the price of the PDF from buying the actual book. So uh, when the actual book comes out, if you buy the book, you get the PDF for it uh, until the physical book is available. If you buy the PDF, basically consider that a, a pre-order of the actual book. Nice. And mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, our expectation is um, that the book will be, the physical book will be uh, available at Gen Con. Uh, and after that, just check out on www.chaosium.com. Uh, we also will be selling the PDF through uh, Drive Through RPG, but the only place that you can get the coupon is from directly from our website. And then once the book is uh, is out in physical order. You can just buy it from here from the open store since it'll be in regular distribution. But, awesome. uh, again, uh, and we are, we participate with bricks and mortar. So once the book is out, um, you, if you buy the book from a, a game store that is part of the bricks and mortar program, PDF as well, and immediately following the main book, uh, we have two more books that are coming out. Uh, there's a collection of adventures, including, uh, this one. Uh, that'll be coming out plus the best jerry and uh then you know if you are used to our schedule of release for call of cthulhu it'll be pretty much all the same with runequest so nice. we're very excited about this i absolutely uh, we we are very excited to have uh chaosium back to doing both Cthulhu and, and absolutely. thank you guys for an awesome game yeah. yeah, great stuff. Well, you, Thanks, Jeff. you heard it here first, folks. Uh, you can check out uh, RuneQuest on chaosium.com and uh, be sure to check out that PDF and that coupon code as well. That sounds awesome. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, plus of new people in here tonight, uh, be sure to follow the channel because uh, we host a ton of Call of Cthulhu content here as well. Uh, myself and uh, Jonathan Pruitt here. Uh, I am often torturing Pruitt every Wednesday or so playing Call of Cthulhu, and earlier today we're playing some as well. Uh, oh, Link you guys to the, the schedule down below and to all the social media for Encounter Roleplay for uh, other shows we're doing D and D, Star Wars, uh, City of Mist, Warhammer, all that good stuff. Oh, you guys have a um, ton of awesome stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, I'll hand over to Jim Davis. Same questions for you, Jim. I, you know, I loved it. I like I said this is the first time I've I've got a chance to play in Glorantha, and I, I'm really excited about it. I'm already in my mind wanting to do my own game of rune quest now which i very well may because uh <laughs> there's an awesome new version that's come out and the art one in it is killer so um oh, yeah. i had a blast playing blue jay it was great to play with you for the first time uh and um <laughs> yeah, of course with pruitt and will uh, it was great to play with you too. jeff thank you for being our dungeon master you can find me as co-host of WebDM on wednesdays on youtube we also have our own twitch channel WebDM, uh where we are on tuesdays and thursdays um and then of course we're here on in Counter RP on Wednesdays, playing uh, Warhammer myself, running a game of Warhammer, and uh, I, yeah, that's I, that's about it for me. <laughs> stuff. Thank you, Jim. Uh, <laughs> and Blue Jay, uh, it's great to have you on Encounter Roleplay for the first time. Welcome to the show. Hopefully, yeah. you had a, a fun time. I did very much. Thank you. Um, 
if you guys yeah i've never played runequest before i've never played a d100 uh percentile system before so there was a lot of new stuff for me in this but i really enjoyed it um i've always been a huge fan um i actually studied uh comparative mythology uh, in college so like the the the, the history and the, the setting um, of like European um, mythology is something that I'm already fairly accustomed to. So it was really easy to get into the lore and the setting for me. Um, but uh, most of the time you can find me on the internet at twitch.tv slash bluejay or on Twitter at bluejay underscore 712. Um, I, like I said, I'm in three uh, different uh, role-playing campaigns a week. Uh, you can find all of the stuff I've been in in the past um, on my uh, website at bluejay.tv slash portfolio. Um, and that's got the first episode of every, uh, I think I've done 27, now 28 different shows in the last two years. So lots of stuff. Awesome. Lots of stuff. Definitely check it out. Links there in chat for you guys, and it'll be below in the YouTube video as well. Uh, and last but not least, uh, Jonathan Pruitt and his cat. <laughs> and my cat monk uh yes i had a great time first time playing rune quest it was such a blast i uh jim when you start that game i'll go ahead and make a character um sure. and uh even without even out without contact combat which i was i was so itching to get to but uh <laughs> but hey that's the way the uh diplomancers bounce sometimes <laughs> Uh, I, uh, like Jim said, I, I'm the other half of the co-host uh, duo of WebDM. Uh, I'll be DMing my own game, uh, Starward Bound, Spelljammer Influenced, uh, tomorrow. Wednesdays is my nine-hour marathon alongside Will Jones here. We do Call of Cthulhu 12 to 3, 3 to 6 is Warhammer, headed up by Jim Davis. And last is a uh, little D&D with uh, Saber Dice. And uh, be sure to, uh, if you liked any clips in this show, be sure to send them on over to Sean McGovern, Power Score RPG, uh, on uh, the Twitter there for uh, RPGN on Sundays at 1 p.m. Uh, that's 1 p.m. Central, uh, where we do uh, highlights and uh, stupid jokes uh, from this week in gaming. Uh, Y'all take it easy. Uh, oh, I'll be on Scraticus's channel on Saturday morning at 10 a.m. There's a lot going on. Everybody's <laughs> just so tired. <laughs> so yeah, tired. I, just, so I can't even, I can't, like, eh, anyway. <laughs> I mean, it's only 8.30 yeah. over here, so What's it's not really matter, that late. What's the guys? <laughs> it gives me strength. I mean, uh, oh, it's still light, guys. It's still light outside. Do you see this? It's still light out. I can hear birds. It's still I hear birds outside. Uh, Will, Will, <laughs> the sun is actually, I can see the yep. sun now in the yeah. sky. Yeah, I, I, can't like even, I can't even so think of the last see. time. <laughs> <laughs> Look to the east. Amazing. Uh, well, thank you guys for joining us. <laughs> I know. We've got to give the giveaways away. So, uh, I've been joining you as well. We've been so don't worry. Uh, if your name is called out, then I will be contacting you via Twitch Whisper here in about five minutes' time. So stay online on Twitch if you're new to Twitch so that I can get uh, an email address or a Twitter handle from you so that we can get the PDF sent to you from Chaosium. I am the middleman in this case. I don't have the PDF, so I need to get some information from you guys in about five minutes' time here. So the five winners of the RuneQuest Core PDFs are as follows. Uh, number one is Firegut2003. Congratulations, Mr. Firegut. Uh, all of these names are being pulled wow. out from uh, those who have been uh, watching today's show and are live in the chat. Uh, the next is Arston Neckbeard. Congratulations, Mr. Neckbeard. You are the proud owner of another book. Uh, Newfound Yeti is also uh, one of our winners, number three. And number four is Booker Prime. Congratulations, Mr. Prime. You, hey, uh, hey, just, Booker. Hey. What's up? Another one. He's there one you of go. Our patrons. <laughs> oh, nice. And last but not least, number five is Pentalion. You are the proud owner of uh, the Request Core PDF. So, congratulations, you guys. I Like I say, I'll be in touch with you here in about five minutes. Once the stream is over, I'll send you a whisper on Twitch, um, and you guys will give me some information to get those PDFs over to you ASAP. Because, as Jeff said, the book is out in just a matter of days. Uh, thank you, guys. Once again, big thank you goes to Chaosium for allowing us to host this show here on Encounter Roleplay. And uh, we look forward to more adventures in Glorantha. Uh, but until next time, my friends, try not to roll too many net ones because we ought to be here laughing when you do. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>